Hello and welcome to the stream. It's an extra bonus stream again tonight playing some more uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint because as ever I'm still really enjoying this game. I'm playing far too much of this, spending far too much of my spare time on it and not getting anywhere near enough sleep. But while it's fun, I'm going to play it and it's still fun for me. Right, today uh, we have changed the theme. I'm no longer playing... Um, uh, as as the the cowboy <laughs> from yesterday, I've put the huge pistol away. I've gone for um, well I, at the moment. This is my favourite pistol uh, aside from the hand cannon. Uh, this is my favourite one that you can silence the M nineteen eleven. I'm using the Tac fifty sniper rifle. Uh, there are other sniper rifles that I think I will end up preferring more, uh, but I don't have the blueprints for yet. So when I do, I'll start building that. Uh, as uh, my more permanent fixture for a sniper rifle. And as for assault rifle, at the moment I'm using the AUG. Um, it's pretty nice, although it is worth noting that I do actually prefer, um, and I was surprised that I prefer this actually, because I didn't really know about this weapon before this game. I, I, I don't know if it's a rename of something I have seen before, but it looks a bit like a Famous to me. But whatever this is, the VHS D2, I don't know what it is or where it's from, who makes it, what country its origin is, I have no clue. But I really quite like it when I have used it. It's uh, hard hitting enough. Um, does 27 damage, which isn't, you know, it's not the low end of the assault rifles. It's not the highest end either. Uh, it's a 5.56 uh, round that you fire from this. But it's all about this accuracy and this rate of fire. Like, the accuracy is really nice. The rate of fire is really high. Um, and I've just found it to be a really good gun to use. Um, at the moment, um, I'm not using it, though, because of that AUG being in place. But uh, I will, at some point... Uh, whip one of those out again and have some fun with it. Uh, I've tried not all of the uh, assault rifles yet. But I've tried most of them by this point. Uh, and I'm starting to narrow down which ones my preferences are. And at the moment, that one's top of my list, I would say. Although uh, the AUG's pretty nice as well. Uh, right. As ever, I think I will start off by doing my uh, daily quests. I think that's always a good way to start off a play session. Um and what should i do uh, let's go for that one uh and i'm uh, looking to build up my rep get these battle rewards across the season there's still 53 days of the season left to complete act one uh the rewards go all the way up to tier 49 there uh, at the moment we are way down at where are we tier 17 so next i will hit tier 18 um but at tier 19, I get the first gun reward, which is the 416 Shorty, made for uh, close quarter combat, short range, less recoil. It might be really good. We don't know until we get hold of it. And I want to get as many blueprints as I can in this game, because I'm all about collecting them guns. Um, what I've got so far is fairly extensive. Uh, I have 61 blueprints out of a possible 74. Um, I have now um, grabbed every single blueprint that's currently available to me. I've hunted all of those down. As you can see, there are no more that I can go take missions for. However, there are more blueprints in the world. I'm sure there will be more blueprints uh, from doing missions and things like that, uh, as well as those season rewards. So I'm going to do my best to try and get every single goddamn gun in this game if I can, because uh, I do love them. Uh, as a British person, uh, the most dangerous thing we're allowed to carry is a teaspoon. Uh, so in games is where I can uh, play with guns. I know uh, a lot of my audience is American and you can play with real ones, but you don't get to do that over here. Not, not, not without stringent checks and licenses, and I'm sure I would never pass those checks. So instead, I'm going to settle for in-game. Uh, now then, what's here? An SMG flash finder. I'm pretty close to that. I might actually just do that first since I'm right by it. I am right here and everything. I might just give that a go. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's bring up the uh, HUD. We're over there. Uh, about a kilometer away, just under. Might just run that. We're close enough. There's no vehicle nearby. Let's head on over. Oh. To find myself a comfortable position. Oh, I don't know what's been going on. Uh, my elbow is killing me from playing this game. <laughs> it must be the position of my armrest. I wonder if I can shift that. Actually, I need more support with the back end of my elbow. My problem I'm finding. 
But, you know, I could just cut down the hours I'm playing this. That would be the sensible way to go. But uh, life's too short for being sensible. Not quite sure why I'm grabbing this stuff. You can make things out of stuff, so may as well have it. I do love the uh, running animation when you get into water, how it slows you down. That animation's pretty well done, in my opinion. Uh, the reason I'm crossing the water rather than running across the bridge is because I don't want to attract too much attention at this point. We're going to have to swim. Oh, look, there's a drone there, actually. Actually, let's just shoot that. If I can uh, use it as a loot pinata. Where are you going, drone? Where are you going? Come here. Come here. Oh, where's he gone? He was right here. Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> I've dropped the loot on the bridge where I can't reach. I was kind of hoping it would fall into the water. Never mind. Do some swimming. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I need to set my stuff to private. Just in case. Yeah, never know. Some of my non-streamer friendly friends might come in and start saying bad words. <laughs> we can't have that on Twitch, can we? Must avoid all the bad words. Swim on underwater a little bit. Right, uh, I'm just going to bypass all of that block of red to my left. No need for me to fight that. We're just going straight for this objective as quickly and as efficiently as we can. Then I'm going to get on with the business of doing those dailies again. So, because I collected up all the guns, I moved up onto um, collecting the attachments for the weaponry. Which will take me a little while, because there are quite a few of those. But really, uh, the, the reason I want to get hold of all the stuff is because I want to have the ability to test things myself. Like, as was pretty widely known in Wildlands, the stats, the bars, the readout you get in-game is not always very true to how they actually work. Um, those, those, uh, those statistics, those uh, scores can be a little bit misleading. And the only real way to be truly certain of, of what you think of each weapon is to try them. Uh, and of course, to try them all, you need to own them all. Um, so I'm going to have to collect them all up, basically. And then I want to do a bit of testing for my own devices. Um, I know uh, somebody that I've watched on YouTube in the past that's done a lot of testing on Wildlands with weapons is someone called Dark Dally. If you've not seen him, check out his channel. Um, but he does a, he did a lot of extensive testing on Wildlands with the weapons. I assume he'll probably do the same thing here. Um, so he'll be one to check out. I may make my own video, but I, I probably would recommend just watch his instead. He'll put far more time and effort into the editing of that. I just like playing the games on Twitch. Uh, but I at least want to know what I prefer for my own... Uh... Is she dead? I don't know. Anything we'll leave her alone. Okay. I know she's talking to us. Uh, I at least want to know for my own um, interest... Uh, how everything works and find my best setup for the weapons that I like the most uh, so that I can go into the multiplayer, into the PvP uh, with confidence that I have a good setup that I can rely on to give me an edge against other players. And that is what I want to do eventually with this game. I played a lot of Wildlands PvP in the past and I really enjoyed it. It's going to be a similar thing in this game. So I'm going to be looking to give that a try. Uh, it's kind of tempting since I'm there. I might just go grab that chest. Let's, let's scout, because, I mean, there was only one guard in that other compound. There might be uh, just one or two here as well, and then that's an easy steal, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so I, I want to make sure I can give myself the best edge in the PvP I can by knowing the gear, uh, knowing the guns, knowing how I like to set the guns up, and then... Uh, I'll go in, play some of that, see how we get on with it. Another drone. Oh, that is not the gun I'm meant to be firing. Um, <laughs> the bad stuff is alert. I thought I had the sniper out. 
I was totally wrong about that. Yeah, that's one guard down anyhow. I'm going to claim whatever this drone dropped. Inductive battery. I wonder, can I kill this guy through the fence? I guess not. I mean, it seemed like I might have hit him, but clearly didn't do enough. Alright, we're going loud. Loud's more fun anyway. There's only three guards there. Alright, we're good. Ah, that's an improvement to my gear. Definitely worth it. I'm hoping this loot box will make this little excursion worth it as well. Nice, pool table. Um, how do I get up there? Ah, stairs. Andy. Let's see what we get here. Oh, there's another drone I can shoot down there. Oh crap, oh crap. I think it's just spotted me. Is it this one? Visual detection. Still there. Might have been that one. I don't know. Let me see. Um, there's definitely something over here. Oh, it's just one of those things. All right, that's this place done. I'll just pick up the the loot that's near enough that I can be bothered to go for, and then we're going to go do one of the dailies. Oh, hang on, hang on. Who's seeing me? Oh, I see you. Any more? Oh, someone over there. Oh, that's heavy. Just about managed to take him out of time. I feel like since, since I'm going to get myself in a fight here, I should maybe get the drone out so I can see what I'm up against. Where's that alarm coming from? You. Um, that's why you need to kill even though even those innocent looking unarmed drones there. They will spot for the enemy. I think we nailed everything here now though. Might as well go claim some prizes. All right, also, I want to equip that new item I picked up because it does raise my gear score up. Any opportunity to creep that up has to be taken. There we go. One whole point. It gets slow at this level. I've got another point out of the pants as well, or trousers as we call them over here. My new trousers. Um, so that will do. Uh, I think that might be all the bad guys clear from here, so I may as well clear this, claim this chest. Very easy to get sidetracked in this game. You have a thing in mind to do, and then you're like, oh, but there's, there's some guys to shoot here, and some loot to grab there. I'll just do that, and then that. Oh, in fact, there's that drone I shot earlier. I can claim the bits from that after all. Yay, nothing was lost. And as you can see, the loot has stayed there all this time. Oh, that's uh, that's actually a pretty decent sniper rifle upgrade. I think I will uh, switch to that. Um, yeah, that's plus three levels. suppressor on it the t5x eyesight i'm liking at the moment or t5 11 i don't know how you're supposed to say that i know nothing about gun culture <laughs> so i don't know whether you call it the xi or the 11 oh, i'm gonna call it the xi for now but uh it's pretty decent sight for the sniper rifle in my opinion so far uh do you know what just for uh picky little detail i'm gonna make the the mag black because uh, I imagine if I, if I was playing this I wouldn't be bothered painting all my magazines with camo as well so I like to leave them black you may notice I've done the same on this uh, owl here you'll see the the mag poking out of the back because it's a ball pup and you'll see that is also black little details <laughs> it doesn't really matter to anyone but me probably but I like it okay uh, let's figure out where our uh mission is have i actually got it selected let me just check uh no i haven't so i'm gonna i'm gonna select one there we go all right then we'll fast travel to wherever that may be 24.4 kilometers away that's a long way we're definitely fast traveling and it's all the way up here okay nearest bivouac there let's take that I'm kind of uh, at the point, because I've now run out of blueprints that I'm aware of the location of, I'm at the point where I need to kind of travel around and grab any information points I can in various zones, because there's got to be some I've missed. 
There's got to be some zones I've been to where I haven't found all the intel on the positions of, of new weapons or new attachments. So I definitely need to uh, get on with that. And the class I'm playing today, I was, yesterday I was playing the assault class. Today I, I've worn the appropriate badge on my armor to make it easy for people to see um, a glance if you're not sure. But yeah, I'm playing as the um, marksman or whatever they call it in this, the sharpshooter. Forget the actual name they give it. I'll just check here. Uh, sharpshooter, that's it. Yeah, so I'm playing with the sharpshooter. So here's the details for that. Uh, it's special is the armor busting rounds. You get high penetration bullets with bonus damage and muzzle velocity. Um, you get a sensor launcher as your class item, which makes spotting in large bases a lot quicker and easier. I really like that, actually, because one of the things I find a bit laborious is scouting with the drones. So when I'm playing on my own, uh, I've come to the conclusion that this class is actually quite nice to solo with because I can save myself some time uh, on uh, figuring out where everyone is. Uh, you also get deep lungs, so you can hold your breath for longer while aiming, and to, to control your breath while aiming, you just hold down the space bar. Uh, it's not something I do that often, to be honest, only if I'm taking a particularly uh, tight sniping shot or one that's at very long range, I might go for, for holding my breath to get a little bit more accuracy. Uh, but it does slow down um, the time it takes for you to make that shot. And sometimes you have a small window of opportunity that I like to take. Uh, you also get long range proficiency, which means you get a bonus with sniper rifles and for designated marksman rifles. Now, again, I prefer the sniper rifles over the, the designated marksman rifles. Um, so I'm going to be using them. But um, rather than having uh, both of those weapon types, uh, I do prefer to have an assault rifle as my backup for when things go horribly wrong. Point it comes in very handy and I'm taking the accuracy preparation plus 20 to accuracy I can live without the other stuff I could probably live without the accuracy as well to be fair but I, I kind of like the idea that uh, I'm I'm gonna be hitting what I want to hit when I want to hit it okay so we've got uh, one of those available it's not a gear improvement excuse me so I'm gonna leave that be I'm gonna leave that be now, is that comparing to the AUG? I think it might be. So, yeah, it's got a high rate of fire. Handling's a bit better. I'm not actually sure what the um, thing at the bottom is of those bars. I know one of them is range. That'll be the third one down, is it? Uh, one of them will be time to aim. I don't know what the other one is. <laughs> I have no idea. I really don't. Uh, I wish they actually uh, had tooltips on that, but I've not seen any. Uh, but the things I look for anyway are range, accuracy, and damage and rate of fire. And at least those things, I know what they are. Uh, they're the ones that matter to me the most. Uh, and it looks like the AUG is a little bit better than this in those terms. But it might be that that's reading with the attachments of the AUG, whereas this is comparing it to a fresh VHS D2, which doesn't have any attachments on. Anyway, details, details. We'll worry about that later. Um, right, I'm going to buy these boots. Gear score upgrade there. And the gloves. Again, I've said before, I'll say it again. I recommend just picking up anything you can, whenever you can, to push that gear score up. Um, at this point, I think I might, I might have a crack at building a gun just to see if I get lucky and I get one with a higher gear score than what I've currently got. So I'm going to try to build um, the gun that I prefer the most at the moment, as I talked about, the, the VHS D2. I might be unlucky with this creation. It might be rubbish. Uh, I might do more than one creation, see if, uh, see if we can eventually get one to come up good. Oh, well, there we go. First one. It's a purple. It's gear score 221. That's an improvement of plus two over what I've got already. Got an extra 20 range and 15 meters worth of automatic marking. Um, Obviously, you can't use that in PvP, but can be useful in PvE. All right. Okay. So uh, that was worthwhile. We'll take that. Now, do I want to buy any more vehicles since I'm rolling in cash at the moment? There are there are things that I I don't have yet. Like uh, I haven't bought one of these, the 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 Dinos or Dinos. I don't know how best to pronounce that. I'm going to go with Dinos actually. Um, I don't have one of those yet. They're pretty pricey though. That would take almost all of the cash I currently have. Uh, I don't have a gyps either, and uh, although they're big and slow, they can seat six people, and they have uh, two mini guns on the side. So I, I would uh, perhaps want one of these for if I'm playing 
in a four-man group at some time at some point and we want to fly from a to b that being said though you can uh, get four people in these smaller choppers here uh, but they don't have as much firepower and the firepower is solely in the hands of the pilot as opposed to your crew and sometimes it it can work out well that you know one person is concentrating on the flying uh, and other people are able to do the shooting um, and give it their full uh, undivided attention now there are slightly more armored versions of these overseer uh, helicopters you can see here they've got more armored paneling on and they're pretty pricey actually um, but it's kind of tempting to save up for one of those I know they are fast and they're 50k you got one with uh, rockets there another one with rockets here that's just a standard uh, paint job that's a snow and we've got a desert one with rockets here hmm no, I, I kind of, I like the uh, Gatling guns, though, personally. Although the rockets are great. I wonder if they lock on rockets. Only one way to find out, and that is to buy it. But anyway, uh, I'll save up for that, for that maybe. But um, right now, I think I'm going to get one of these Gyps choppers bought. Just, I want one in my collection. That'll be the third chopper I've got now. Uh, going to resupply my rocket launch ammo. That's always handy in case you run into big, scary stuff. And we fought some big scary stuff last night in this, so uh, definitely know I'm going to need it at some stage. Uh, do I want to pick up another site while I'm at it? Get these out of the way gradually. I don't like buying them all at once because it's a bigger expense, but if you just buy one every now and then, you don't really notice it as much. Actually, I'll just leave that for now, I think. Uh, right, I'm good to go. Now, well, let's go to the garage, and I'm going to bring out a chopper for this. My biggest and my bestest. Well, actually, it's not the biggest now. I've, I've just bought a bigger one, haven't I? But it's certainly uh, certainly my biggest fast chopper, let's say that. And uh, hopefully that will get us to the objective. All right. Where is it? Is it up here? I think it's up here. Yeah. Now, can I actually run up here? I think I can. Yep, if we go this way. There we go. Alright. So how far has this got to take me? Wow, is the objective really right up on top of this? Looks like it is. We go pretty high up for this. Um... There's going to be nowhere for me to park the chopper, is there, up here? Uh, let's see if I can find somewhere regardless. Perhaps should have chosen a smaller chopper. Um, okay, maybe over here. Looks like a reasonable amount of space. I don't see any immediate danger here. The only thing I'm concerned about is will I still be able to walk up to the objective location? I think I will. If I take this path just off to the right of my current position... I think that should get me there, shouldn't it? All right, let's go, let's go for it. <laughs> oh, wow. Voice is dying on occasion already. It's harder than it looks, this constant talking for hours. <laughs> Although, uh, pretty sure my parents would doubt that it would ever be possible for me to talk myself out, but I can. <laughs> right here, right now, you can see it. <laughs> At least I'll have video evidence to show them. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, you, you think I talk a lot. One of my sisters can talk me down quite easily. She can talk as a national sport, I think. Right, let's see what we can see. Oh, I forgot. I've got, I've got my special quick scanner thingy, haven't I? All right, let's just uh, spot some of these that are easy to see, and then we'll use the scanner to pick up anything that I might have missed. If I run out of patience for scouting. Now, one thing for me to be concerned about is that drone. But I'm going to want to take that out pretty quickly if I get the opportunity. But the trouble is, as soon as I do take it out, it will alert the base to my presence. So there'll be an explosion. I think I've actually scouted everything. Oh no, not quite. There's something over here. I better be sure of what's over here because that's right by my position. 
Ah, there's a guy. There's a guy. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I think I'll use my special ability. Try to scout the rest. That gets the job done. There we go. So that's everything scoured. I mean, it also gives you this temporary wall hack as well, which is pretty nice. Right. Now this guy. He's a, a kill I can take without anything being spotted. What about this guy? Let's get him as well. That one might be a bit risky, but I'm taking it anyhow. Uh, right, there's a drone. Uh, has definitely seen the dead body. Yeah, there we go. So it was, it was a risk. Not that guy. As soon as I can, I want to kill that drone. But I've got to deal with this dude first. Sneaky, sneaky. Here's a pretty good vantage point. Oh, there. I can get that drone now. Good. That's a big threat. Getting that out of the way, because obviously the drones can fly around. It makes it a lot easier for them to spot you. Oh, crap. Need to get hidden. Struggling to get a bead. Where that light shining is ruining my ability. Spot. All right, I need to nail that sniper. Good. All right, he's gone. He's what was spotting me from across the way. Most of those guys are underneath this structure. I can't get eyes to them. Let's see if I can get eyes to that other sniper, though. Who knows? I can't actually see through the trees there. You can see that guy, though. Get him down. And maybe this guy here. Oh, crap. Sniper did see me. Well, if he can see me, maybe I can see him. No, apparently, uh, not well enough to shoot him. Let's go for uh, some of these other guys. Get them down while I can. I need to nail that heavy, because if he starts suppressing me, that's going to be uh, really nasty. Oops. There we go. Took an extra shot for that, unfortunately. Oh. Could just go loud at this point, to be fair. Got to worry about that sniper still, because I can't see him. Oh, yeah, screw it, going loud. Sniper's still trying it. Okay, I think maybe I can get eyes from this angle. Try that. No. How about now? There we go. Got him. He's actually closer than I realised. Oh, there's a turret there and a dude above me. Oh, no, I didn't see that guy. Oh, how did he get there? Okay, going to have to do that again. I didn't hear him coming. I heard the turret firing at me, though. That much I was aware of. Oh, crap. How am I going to get up here without my chopper? Hopefully I can run up. We'll see. Right, hit some bits that are too steep, though. It's starting to get that way, isn't it? Will it let me climb? No. Damn, right. Let's have a look at the map, then. Zoom in. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a pain in the butt. Uh, I am going to use the bivouac again, then. I'm going to fast travel there and fly in, because that was my best point of entry, I think. It was a decent spot to be. If I can just nail those snipers first... Um, I need to not get snuck up on by uh, a dude with a shotgun, though. That's for sure. But, uh, no need for any messing about here. We're just going to call that chopper out immediately. I do remember, I, I don't think I uh, actually equipped the new items I bought in the shop when I was last in the bivouac. So I'll do that as well before I take off this time. Make sure we are wearing the best possible stuff we can. Yeah, there we go. 
So I'll upgrade those. Um, right, this is an upgrade as well. Let's get that fixed up. Completely forgot that I got these. Uh, now, what do I want? Compensator reduces the shot spread and vertical recoil. That's easier to control than horizontal recoil. So let's see if there's one that does horizontal. No, there isn't, but the flash hider reduces shot spread by 20% which is better. I don't need the extra help with the vertical. I can handle that. So we'll go with a flash hider on this there. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. That's not done. Uh, I want that. I think. Yep. I'm happy with that. Uh, oh, <laughs> I can't. Keep uh, leaving before I'm done. Uh, now this one, I don't want any of these because I think all of these are adding to horizontal recoil, which is not what I want. So we're just going to go with no attachment. I don't even want the grenade launcher because that will add to the sway. It's not really helpful here. Although I have been told by one of my friends that's tried the PvP already that the grenade launcher comes in pretty handy in the PvP. Uh, but we're not there yet, so we'll, we'll go without that. All right, we are ready. We're set to go. Let's go find the chopper. And uh, we'll land in there again. Right, I have to keep an eye out for that drone again because I, I kind of had a good opportunity that I took to take that out in the last attempt. Let's try. I might not be so lucky. I'll have to uh, keep tabs on where it is. But luckily, that base was actually pretty easy to scout out. So I won't be wasting too much time checking it out. But um, this is the first time one of the dailies has taken me to this location. So this is a new base for me to assault. I've never been up here before. And I do like that. There are so many places. So many different locations in this game. That you've got to puzzle out and figure out the best way of taking out. Some of them, you know, I have been to some repeatedly. But then I'm still encountering others that I've never been to. And I do like that. Gives me uh, a good variety in my gameplay. Right, there we go. We have touched down. Now I'm going to head up the hill. Try to figure out where I was last time. Because wherever I was, felt like a decent spot to be. Um, did I just run straight up the hill here? I feel like I might have just gone in a straight line. I'm exhausted, so I'll just get the drone out anyhow while, I'll, uh, while I recover that stamina. Trying to figure out where I was. So I was up near... Yeah, it was up here. This is where I ended up. So where am I currently? I'm down there. Okay, so I need to go around. Follow this path up. No, the path didn't take me all the way up. How the hell did I get up here? I don't know. I definitely found a way up. So uh, I'll try I'll try figure it out. I think it was up this way. Seems legit. We'll try that. Um, Alright. We'll get everything spotted. As much as I can. I want to get caught out by snipers. Yeah, there was this, that a sniper over here that caught me out last time because I couldn't see it through the trees. Or what, no, was it on here? It was on this platform, wasn't it? Yeah, and it looked like it was further away than it was. So I was, I, was, I reckon I was shooting over the target uh, because I'm having to shoot through the leaves of the trees to try to land a hit. But now, hopefully, I'll remember. It's a lot closer than I think. I'll aim a bit lower and I should be able to take him out before he spots me this time. Maybe. We'll see. Um, okay. I think I've spotted as much as I can be bothered to. We'll use the scanner to spot the rest. But yeah, I need to head around this way, I believe. Let's get my assault rifle reloaded with the extended mag. And then, get the sniper rifle ready. And then, uh, exhaust myself as usual. Because I still haven't gotten used to the stamina system in this damn game. Yeah, I think I remember coming up this way. This looks familiar. And there was a dude up here to shoot. Uh, let's use my special ability to get that last guy spotted. Don't want any surprises. Um, actually move a little bit closer oh hang on I might need to kill him first well, he's not seen me yet oh crap 
two dudes right here. Okay. Like a different setup this time. I guess they're in a different part of their patrol route. Just let them wander off a little bit. And I'll try to take them out. We got hostile! Find this ladder. Please, climb the ladder. Why won't you climb the ladder? There we go. Hopefully this sniper won't see me. Oh, oh, you heard a sound. They found dead bodies. Stab. He won't give away our position though. Because he's dead. Right, let's get out of the sniper across the way. Now that drone is still buzzing around somewhere. They've also got this turret here. Uh, since they're already aware of my presence, I may as well just blow this turret up now. There it goes. Where's the buzzy drone? Here he comes. Oh crap. There goes the buzzy drone. I do now have visual detection on me. Let's kill these guys quickly. Oh, sniper. Get him down. Another sniper somewhere, is there? By this time, since uh, the crap has hit the fan, I need to be very, very careful about getting snuck off on again. I need to have eyes in the back of my head. But I'm going loud so I can take these guys down quickly. The heavy's approaching. All right. Definitely don't want to start getting shot in the back by a heavy. I'm going to actually move out and assault him before he gets on top of me. There we go. There's the guy with the shotgun that nailed me last time. Whoa, I'm missing. Nine rounds. There we go, that's enough. Whew. That was some terrible shooting, but we got him in the end. That's better. Poke your head up, please. No? Okay, fine. All right, I'm going to come get him. Now we're going to poke for me. We'll go get him. Uh, you may notice I, I do switch my shoulders, whichever I'm looking at, depending on which way around a piece of cover I'm moving. And you just do that with the click of a middle mouse button. It's a feature I'm sure is in plenty of games these days, but um, I'm used to using that from playing Wildlands. And I've kept that feature in breakpoint, which is pretty nice. I like it. Um, there we go. Spray and pray got the job done. Right. Claim our loot and then go do the objective. What have I got to do? Hack the computer. Now, with those hack the computer missions, sometimes you just hack it and it's done. Sometimes you hack it and then you have to defend it for a couple of minutes. I don't know which it's going to be. So I always recommend, because you don't know what it's going to be, that you, you clear out the entire area rather than just try to sneak in and get it done on the sly. I think you're better off just clearing the entire area because if you have to you know, mount a defense, um, you're going to have to deal with a lot of stuff coming in and you don't want other additional forces attacking you at the same time as you're trying to defend. So best to get the clear done but that was a straightforward one just mission complete just from hacking it no need to defend here oh uh, this could have been an interesting one to defend though I, I figure they probably have to send choppers up here and i could just sit and snipe choppers out of the sky as they send reinforcements in that could have been fun although an lmg might make it easier i don't know actually i can just uh i could have just equipped my um armor piercing rounds couldn't i because i'm the marksman Go for that and blast them out of the sky easily. Uh, there's a purple item over there, so I'm actually going to go for it. Then anywhere I can get a gear score improvement, worth it to me at the moment. 
Because uh, I, I think I said uh, before yesterday or whatever that initially you're getting new items constantly. And it's a little bit annoying having to constantly change your gear and upgrade, equip this, equip that. But it definitely slows down around and about and beyond 200 gear score. And improvements come far less frequently. Now, there you go. So that I've picked up. That's not an improvement. All right. Now, rather than run for my chopper, at this point, I'm just going to quickly check my gear. Put that better vest on. Uh, leave those alone and look for another mission. I don't need to get out of here if I'm going to fast travel anyhow, do I? So let's, uh, let's go for this hack the computer here. And let me figure out where we've got to go for it. All the way down here this time. That looks like the nearest bivouac, so we'll travel there. Ah, it looks close enough to run. Let's run. Or we'll slide. <laughs> when you start the game, sliding down hills is an absolute nightmare. But once you unlock the uh, in the skill tree the 75% extra control when sliding down stuff, it actually becomes a lot more fun. Deep down there. Gonna grab whatever these things are. No, I'm not, apparently. Ooh. No, I can get them. Thought I was gonna slide right on by for a moment. Apparently, you can't pick things up while you're sliding. Go back for that. And that. Okay. I don't know what they're for. They might just be for creating meds or something like that. Ooh. Which I'll need if I'm going to keep breaking my ankles in that way. But I'm going to grab this uh, this loot box here. And then we'll steal the jeep to get us a little bit closer to our destination. There's also some intel here. I don't know if I've uh, claimed all the intel in this zone yet. But always worth grabbing these when you see them. They reveal positions of interest. Uh, this one, in this case, is just showing me place of a collectible. Stuff that I'm really hoping for is, uh, of course, weapon blueprints. Where's that vehicle? It's driving towards us. All right. Can afford to nail those guys. I think I'll go loud for this. I believe they're dead. Right, I'm going to go claim the loot. Oh, come on, get in the vehicle. There we go. These guys seem to drop nothing. But I definitely saw a purple get dropped by a dude further down the road that I just sniped a moment ago. We'll go claim that, and then we'll head towards our objective 500 metres away. It'll take long to get there. I do like how the handling feels different on different surfaces as well. Well, what are you? Ooh, okay. A couple of those nasty things. Over there, and a couple of wolves. I think this time we'll avoid those, because I don't need to fight them right now. I do want to get to that objective, though. I think I can go down here. There we go, there we go. Little, little movements, little movements. Keep control. <laughs> oh no, somebody's spotting me now. Panic, drive into a tree. <laughs> Who's spotting me? Is it a chopper? I think it's a chopper. Oh 
There we go. See you later, pilot. <laughs> Gunner's still trying to shoot me. Well, I think they're aware of my presence after that explosion. But it was fun. Okay, I'm going to get my scanner thingamajig out. We'll use that to spot things quickly down here. Oh, I see you over there. I think this is a load of stuff that I could have avoided, maybe. I don't know. But it's here now. It's alert. So we're going to kill it. Damn it. I'll go loud for the rest of this. Get on and assault them. I'm just moving cautiously at the moment because if I start sliding down the hill and then they see me and start shooting me up, I can't do anything about it. If you're mid-slide, you can't do anything else other than slide. Oh, hello. That wrecked. Also need to be aware that because we're on a road at any moment a vehicle could arrive. Oh then. I haven't actually used this M1911 much, have I say? So use that. Still one guy left. I don't know where he's going. He's far away. I need the sniper rifle to nail him. Where the hell is he? Oh my god. I can't see for the, for the glare. Oh, there we go. He ran a bloody long way, didn't he? Alright, I think I've cleared this area now. And it does look like I did need to kill all of that stuff because the objective is right in the uh, checkpoint office there. See what goodies are in here, like pistol, and that is a gear score improvement. So I'm gonna have to equip that, I think. Which is a shame because I really like the M1911. Let's hack, and I expect this one is maybe one I need to defend because it's on a road. Yes, there we go. That was predictable, wasn't it? So I need to find myself a good vantage point very quickly. Okay, they're coming from this direction. This is bad. All kinds of bad. Right, need to reload. Need a better position than this, I think. Get ready for the next one to come racing in. Now, when I've done these before, they always come racing in from the same direction. I'm going to go ahead and assume that they're going to continue to do that. Yeah, there we go. I see them. down. Gonna be more though. <laughs> Very nearly got myself run over there. Where did you come from? Gone. Did we get them all from there? I think I think maybe we did. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more vehicles before this is done. I expect two more.
I wonder if all of those guys are actually dead. Oh, there we go. Oh, there aren't any more. That was it. Oh, well, we made quick work of that. It was a bit of a risky position I chose because uh, <laughs> on two occasions, very nearly got myself run over using that position. I think, uh, given time to think about it, I'd go for sitting up there because you've got some cover to sit behind. Nice elevated position, a long enough line of sight down this road. I think that would have worked out nicely, but did not have time to uh, position myself there in the end. I just kind of chose quickly and chose relatively poorly, but not so poor that we couldn't do the mission. Right, uh, I'm going to steal one of these because I like these. And they're fun. Right. Um, oh, there's ammo there, actually. I'm going to pick that up because do get through a fair amount of ammo doing all that. Oh, it's frag grenades. Oh, okay. Hardly ever use frag grenades. Right. On to the next thing. So, we've gone up a, uh, a level. Oh, hold on. Let's just equip this stuff. Get that out of the way so I don't forget. That's not an improvement. That is. Get this... Uh, New pistol in, suppose. Could uh, not really be bothered to rank that up too highly. It's not a pistol I like. Not willing to spend too many of my precious resources on this, but I'll give it a little bit. Um, yeah, that one. Uh, Painted black. See, is there an improvement here? No, no improvements in the guns. So, right, on to the next thing. So, I was going to look at the battle rewards because I've just gone up a tier. Let's retrieve that, see what we get. It's a random crate containing... Oh, nice! I was just considering whether to buy one of those choppers or not and thinking, well, they're super expensive. They're like 50k. I'll save up for it. And not only did I get one of them just now from this loot box, but I also got it in the paint scheme that I like the most for the vehicles. That's the hill pattern. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. Okay, so the next tier up is when we get that 416 shorty. So looking forward to getting that. Let's uh, go pick another mission. I think I've done all but the, the elite one right now. And I do like saving those till last. I don't know why. I, I just do. I like to do all the easier ones and then work my way up to, to the elite ones. I guess it gives me time to warm up since I do tend to do them when I come onto the game straight away. Um, right, that's a long way away. We're going to fast travel that. Don't want to drive 5k. Driving is fun uh, and I do enjoy it. And when I'm playing on my own, I do quite often just decide, well, I'll just travel from A to B the long way rather than fast travel because it can be fun and relaxing but I don't think it's that exciting to watch someone drive for 10 minutes <laughs> so I'll spare you that and I'll uh, I'll fast travel all right so at this bivouac it gives me an excuse to bring out that new chopper we just got doesn't it I will also check the shop. Probably hasn't refreshed. Now it still needs another 23 minutes. Oh, hold on a minute. It has. I'll take those boots. They're an improvement. And so is that helmet, even though it's only a green. All right, let's go to the garage. So there we go. We've now got a selection of four different choppers. So let me have a look at the stats. So that's got the best resistance so far, the, uh, what's it called? The Ophis? Ophis? I don't know. This one, the Oof. Uh, this has got the best resistance, pretty good handling, and it's nice and fast. In fact, I can order them by speed, so you can see, fast. Same speed for this one as well, but the resistance, as you can see, is really bad. But uh, this chopper does have better handling, but no firepower. Then we've got this one. That has the exact same stats as the other overseer, the standard overseer. However, this one actually has rockets as well. So pretty nice, we're gonna give that a try. And then the slowest one is obviously the six seater with the two gun turrets, uh, but clearly it's got better resistance than the overseer type, but not as good resistance as the Ophis. So, right, I'm gonna select that though, because it's brand new. 
And look, same camo as uh, as that chopper. And I chose that one when I when I bought that with the game money uh, from the shop. And uh, this one I got as a reward. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Right, we'll wait till early in the morning. It's like I've got to run down the hill to get to my chopper a bit. There it is. Not too far to go. I'm interested to see whether these rockets are lock-on or whether they're just free fire. They appear to be lock-on. Brilliant. That's really nice. So I need to uh, locate the truck. I'm hoping this is just a straight up blow the truck up. Because I've got the perfect weapon for the job. These lock on rockets. Oh no. Is, it, is this going to be a truck that's inside a compound that I'm not going to be able to shoot from the sky? Oh, <laughs> I can't even find it right now. Oh, 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 oh. get spotted. Fly away, fly away. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't actually, uh, I can't see a truck anywhere. I'm going to have to go inside. Well, we're going to have to put some effort into this mission. I thought I was getting a nice shortcut for having this chopper. I guess not. I will touch down here. One of the good things about this chopper is it's easier to park on it on on uneven terrain than the uh, the big one I normally use is. As I've shown you before, the landing gear on that is pretty rubbish. To be honest, it's it's quite narrow, um, so it tips over easily. Whereas that's got the nice wide base, makes it a lot easier to park. Oh, don't move. Ooh. This rock isn't going to last me for very long. Another guy over there as well. Can I hit him? Yeah, he did it without holding breath as well. Oh, no, spotted. Screw it, going loud. Oh, actually, we got away with that. Like I said before, uh, yesterday, you've got a few seconds grace when someone spots you before they manage to report it to their entire local force. So if you manage to kill the guy that's seen you within, I don't know, I think it's like two or three seconds time. I haven't counted it personally, but it's something like that. Then you can evades being fully spotted. Definitely useful to know. Oh, what's it? What now? Where are you? Where are you? I see you. I see you. I see you. Head down. Head down. The sniper rifle. Oh, a big boom. Where'd you go? Oh, what's spotting me now? Guys everywhere. That was a sniper. Okay, we've got him as well. Within the grace period. Alright, grab this loot. And try and figure out how the hell we get to this truck. Oh, right, I see. It's because we're not at the truck. We've got to grab employees for information first. Reading is good, kids. It helps to read. Then you know what you're going to do. Yeah, so uh, I've just got to interrogate someone here first. Now, is there anyone here left to interrogate? That's the question. They're all looking pretty dead to me. Okay, I think I need to go inside the compound. Aha, there we go. 
He has the Bye. info. No need to be afraid. I could really use some more information. Now I've told you everything. Hey, Red Fred, awesome. how are you doing? Thanks. No, 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 no. Okay, I want to get those loot boxes before I leave. And where are they? They seem to be down. How do I get down? Well, there's also some more intel. I need to go down a level somehow. Running into a glass window is not going to help me in that endeavour, though, is it? All right. Uh, there's no down that way, so it must be must be this way. Or not. Maybe I need to go outside. Perhaps there's an outside stairway that leads me down. I didn't look all the way out the front here, did I? I don't think so. Yeah, let's hope this is the right way. I want to do as little wasted running around as possible. And no, there's no way down here either. Okay, how how do I get under here? Let's think about this. Let's use a drone. Let's figure it out that way. Right, so that's where I want to get to. Oh, I could just leap off the ledge, I suppose. <laughs> that's one way. It does look like there's a way from inside the building. Uh, what is that? Mm -hmm. oh, expert drone piloting skills. <laughs> Crash into every wall. Uh, right, here's stairs. Okay. So, where's this then? It, it's right, right here. I was right by it. I walked right by this guy. And I didn't see the way down. God damn it. Okay, so uh, this is why the drone is useful, though. Save me a bit of running around and wasting time not knowing where I'm going. Here we go. I'm busy. Oh, I'm busy too. Um, let's go in here. Hey, can't you see I'm busy? Whoa. I don't know why they feel the need to tell me they're busy all the time. Any idea I'm not their supervisor. I know where you can head to. Thanks. Much obliged. Got the intel from him, and we'll get the loot. There's another loot box outside. Oh, please, just stop. Where was it? Around the corner here, I think. Saw it with the drone. Yeah, there it is. So we get that. And then I'm going to run to this other chopper because it's near. Uh, hold on. How far away is the objective? 2.4k. Yeah, okay. I'm going to fly this chopper to get to my other chopper that's got the rockets, and then I'll fly to the objective because. Excuse me. Oh, uh, it's not too far to fly. Yeah, this one's got the uh, Gatling guns, but I'd rather have the guided rockets. I'll take a vehicle out much quicker. Yeah, worthwhile journey, that. <laughs> Just doing my bit for global warming. to observe this wonderful countryside. <laughs> it really is nice. I, I've been impressed with the graphics in the last game in Wildlands. You know, I've said plenty of times I'm going to keep going on about it because it was one of the nicest looking shooters I've ever played. Possibly the nicest looking shooter I've ever played. Um, and then this one lives up to that legacy. I think this is equally good. And that's the thing though, you know, the monetization might suck, all of that kind of stuff sucks, but sometimes it takes a triple A company to get a game that looks this good. And uh, that's the price you pay. Right, destroy the transport. Okay. I'll try to do it without a lock on. There we go, transport destroyed. I was a little tricky to aim because uh, it was wanting to lock on to the drone next to it, that thing there. actually shoot that now. If it gets close, it will shoot us out of the sky very quickly. Here you go, little drone. Well, you're little from up here. You're not so little if I'm standing next to it. Come 
on, give me the lock. There we go. We're getting it, we're getting it. Oh no, nope. lost it at the last second. Right. Takes a few volleys to destroy these things. They're fairly tough. You've got to blow the armor panels off them. But it's not actually able to shoot back at me at the moment, so this is a very safe way of dealing with these things. across the way as well. Or a volley in his direction as we land. There's a couple of guys. What else is that? Oh, they've got a chopper. Yeah, we'll take that fight on. See ya. <laughs> uh, I thought those bodies were just going to hover in the sky for a moment, but they've realised they are in fact just bodies and they've dropped to the ground. Right, I'm going to land. I want to... Claim my uh, prize. And this drone we destroyed. So, might as well nail him while I'm at it. And then we'll pick another mission. Oh, hello. That deer's coming right for us. It had to be done. We got right, he dropped a purple in the end. Now I feel this uh, trek all the way over here was worth it. Let's see what he dropped. Come on, be a, be a gear score improvement, please. Stetson. Oh, Stetson with two extra gear score. We're going to take that. They're not actually improvements. That is, though. They're not. No, nope, nothing there. Okay. Well, those of you that caught the show yesterday, we were wearing one of those all session. Getting my cowboy on. I know it's only a game, but every time I do stuff like that, I feel bad. <laughs> like, I drove 20 yards to get in my chopper. Saving the earth. <laughs> One man at a time. Right, uh, what's next? Let's pick a new mission. Let's go for another locate the truck mission. How far away is this going to be? Not actually all that far away. I'm gonna take a bivouac fast travel though for this one. Um wow, there really isn't one very close to it. Hold on. Um No, I mean there probably are bivouacs close by, but not ones that I've uncovered. I think this might be the closest I can get. Not available when you're in a fight. Okay. Something is aware of my presence. Right, in that case, we'll just start flying towards it for a little while. We'll soon lose that attention. There we go, it's gone already. Right, uh, where was the nearest again? I've lost my bearings. There it was. Um, yeah, it was all the way down here. All right, we'll fast travel to there. Uh, I should probably send my drone up in that area, see if I can spot a nearer bivouac while I'm around there. You just kind of point yourself at the question marks with the drone. And you can uh, uncover more locations. It's definitely the quickest way of exploring. Another way, obviously, is you can just fly around in the chopper. That also works. Assault rifle improvement. All right. I think I'll take that. Uh, trousers. Boots. Gloves. Vest. Again, every opportunity I can get. Right, I'm going to use this new chopper again rather than go for my big overpowered chopper because this little nimble one was quite fun to use and it's new. Oh, 
Also, I'm going to remember to equip that new gear. Reaping that gear score up bit by bit. Every time, just the under barrel uh, standard attachment thing. Oh, hang on, do that first, then do that. There we go, lovely. Okay, and we'll grab our chopper, and we're very close to our objective here. Be a dude, it's a wolf. Fortunately, his buddy's already gotten around the corner, so I can't nail them both. I'll only end up alerting his buddy and getting myself in trouble that I don't need to be in. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Cancel that takeoff. Get the drone up in the air because we've got some locations to find. But there's, there's loads of question marks around here. One of these might be a bivouac. But next time I need to come to this area, will get me a little bit closer to the target. And if not, we'll have another look once we actually arrive at our destination. So yeah, you just kind of fly as high as is reasonable, as high as your range will allow you. Look for those question marks, point your thing at them, and you reveal some places. Now, so far, oh, that's a little bit too high. So far, I've uh, not revealed any other bivouacs. But I have revealed some other stuff, and uh, it's useful to do because uh, you can get um, information on these locations. If you look on your map, in fact, I'll show you now. If you look on your map, once you've revealed a location, you can just kind of hover over it and you'll see the rewards available there. You can see, look here, there are skill points, scale credits, and uh, a shift vertical foregrip attachment here, as well as potential of all these uh, purple rewards you see. Um, so it's, it's worth uh, doing because you can check out and find what you can get from them. Look there, there's a digital skin. Um, yeah, so it, it it's worth doing, you know, it doesn't take you long to point your drone at stuff and uncover it and, and it gives you a better idea of where to find some of the stuff you might want, you know uh, anyway, that's enough of that for now, I think, for me I'm just going to travel, oh no, we'll get these and then we'll travel to the objective in our nice shiny new chopper May as well get all the ones you can while you're in an area. Saves effort later. Right, that will do for now, I think. Time to fly. The trolls coming back. Where are they? They're over there. Yeah, don't need to worry about them. Garrison, thank you very much for the host. Okay, locate the truck. A confidential document contains info on the target. See what we did there? This time we actually read it. <laughs> so rather than hunting around for an actual truck at this point, I know I need to just get down on the ground and check out a document. So we're going to land here. Seems okay. And let's go check out what there is to shoot over here. I think I'll use my uh, cheeky sharpshooter special reveal as many targets as I can as quickly as possible nail that first because they're annoying nail the comms guy if I can okay oh, sniper across the way okay just a couple of guys left now I think there's a vehicle passing by. That might get alerted. I'm going to go loud just in case. Hey, thank you for the raid, Garrison. Oh, yeah. So much Enemy here. movement in our area. Let's go Stay teach him some manners. Hope you had a good time killing stuff in Battletech. Did you get anything cool? Yeah, yeah that, that patrol vehicle did actually stop. 
and they've disembarked. Pretty sure I can see where they went. Like, yeah, there's one over there. Shoot oh, him, there's one. All right, that's that dealt with. Now I'm gonna have to be quick because there'll probably be more vehicles along before too long. But I do want to loot all this stuff, but we'll go for the objective first. Where is it? Aha! There's the document. Read that. Hey, Tuck, how you doing? Right, locate the truck. Find that collectible position at the same time. Also, I'm going to have a quick scout around with the drone in this area because we had to um, stop a little bit far away from here, didn't we? Because uh, there was no... Oh, hold on. I heard stuff. What's going on? Uh, yeah, Tug. Uh, I, I really like it, actually. Uh, there's a lot of lot of people slating it, a lot of bad press about it because of the monetization of cosmetics and various things in the game. But apart from some of the cosmetics, everything can be earned by playing the game. So I don't mind that. You know, some people are time rich, money poor. Some people are money rich and time poor. And it gives those guys uh, the opportunity to take a few shortcuts if they want. But it, it's not pay to win as far as I'm concerned. And aside from that, the actual game itself is very enjoyable for me. Uh, there is no alternative to this kind of game, you know. Uh, if you want this kind of thing, this kind of world, this kind of graphics, this kind of setting, you need to buy a AAA title. It's the bottom line, um, which uh, I'm willing to do because I'm a big fan of this this type of, uh, of gameplay. But I can understand, you know, why some people get annoyed with it. Look, I mean, I'll be honest. I, I didn't buy the last Star Wars game because of the shady way that was monetized. Uh, but the way this is done, in, in my opinion, is not in the same way as it was in that EA game. Uh, the last Star Wars shooter. I mean, they did change a lot of stuff in that eventually. But uh, I'd already decided I wasn't going to buy that by that point. Uh, this, it's, di it's different to me. You know, to some people, it's exactly the same. Uh, but... Not to me, uh, you know. This this to me does not have pay to win elements, and that makes the difference. It has pay to take some shortcuts in gameplay. If you want to do that, you're just robbing yourself of the enjoyment of, of playing the game. If you want to take too many shortcuts, uh, and it has cosmetics that some of which you can only get by spending real money, but that's fine. There are plenty of cosmetics that I'm happy to use uh, that that are free in the game for me to collect. So. Uh, all of that issue aside, which is what a lot of people are complaining around about, uh, the gameplay's fun, the story's okay. I don't really play these games for a masterpiece in storytelling. You know, it's uh, it's a bit hammy, but uh, I'm enjoying it enough. But it, for me, it's all about the gameplay, you know, with this kind of thing, and it is a lot of fun. All right, got to, got to shoot that there truck. Uh, I'm going to nail that drone first, though. Do need to destroy the target truck. Oh no! Oh, I shook it at the last moment. I'm gonna have to reload quick before that heavy starts shooting me. There we go. Target, target destroyed. Who's spotting me from back there? Going on over there. Not entirely sure. Oh, shoot those guys. Um, I want to come down here and see if there's something worth me looting. See if I can nail that heavy first. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Very, very twitchy the aim when you're in the uh, helicopter. Especially if you're trying to shoot at an individual man on the floor. On the ground, rather. On the floor. <laughs> Gecko says, your stream title does not reflect what you're playing. Why not? I'm making lots of bangs and booms. I think it's completely legit. Or do you mean I should be stealthing around, being sneaky and quiet? Because that, that's not how we do things here. Not not that much, anyway. Right, uh, what's that there? An objective right there. Kind of tempting to go for that. Um, but that's only one for a small amount of rep, I think. I don't know if it's worth that. Let me see. Uh, let's go with... Because I think I've just got big ones to do now, haven't I? Yeah, and I do those. I think they're 
I think the elite missions are 100 rep each, and that's me done for the day on my dailies. I like to do them as quick as I can. All right, screw it. I'm, I'm going to go uh, fast travel to her. I think she's down south. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there. All right, fast travel there. Oh, what? I'm in a fight? What am I in a fight with? Now I'm not in a fight. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that I mean that Star Wars game was definitely definitely too much. But again, you know, this is gonna be too much for some people, and if they wanna have principles about it, that's fine. I'm not gonna argue with that. Uh they're welcome to have them. Um but I'm not going to listen to anyone that tells me I shouldn't be playing a game that I'm enjoying. You know, um, it's fun. That's the point of gaming. You play something you enjoy because you enjoy it. And it's the way you want to kill some of your spare time. Um, so, you know, I, I'm happy to play this. And I, I haven't spent any real money on it. I've not bought any cosmetics. I've not bought any shortcuts. I don't need to. I mean... Uh, if you look, uh, what have I put into it now? I don't know. It's, it's over 60 hours, but, you know, I, I've hit maximum experience level. I've maxed out um, the ranking up of all four of the classes in the game. Uh, I've picked up loads of different weapons. Uh, I've not hit maximum gear score yet, so I've still got room to improve there. But I think it caps out at 300, and I'm already, you know, a third of the way uh, through the last stretch of 100 gear score. Um I've got loads of room to uh, to expand on on the story and the missions. You know, look, there's still tons of stuff to do, tons of stuff to collect. I've I've neglected the story because I'm not that bothered by it. I'll play the story when I'm uh, when I'm co-oping with friends. But um, I, you know, I've been going after the weapon uh, blueprints and attachments, things like that. Doing these daily quests because you get battle re battle rewards. Um, so all of that. But um, I, at no point have I felt like, oh man. I can't keep up with this. I need to spend real money to really enjoy this game. You don't. You just don't. You know, if you've got a reasonable amount of spare time to play in the evening, you don't have to spend real money on it at all. If you don't want to. And for those that do want to, what's the harm in that being there for those people that, that want it? If people didn't take advantage of that and didn't want it and, you know, didn't use it, well, companies wouldn't be doing it. You know, we all protested in in the early days or for quite a number of years and and refused to buy games that had shady monetization and as i mentioned still to this day you know i didn't buy uh, that particular ea game was the most recent uh, because of that but it hasn't made the blindest bit of difference has it so i just uh i'm at the point where you know if a game's fun it's something i'm going to enjoy and i want it i know i'm going to have a good time playing it then I'm gonna play it. <laughs> harsh gecko, that is harsh. Poor Garrison. <laughs> I'm sure he was blitzing his way through BattleTech like a boss. That's what he does. Yolo Jenkins. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, as I said to one of my friends, uh, he, he takes the opposite viewpoint. In fact, he, he was very disappointed that I was uh, uh, streaming this game at all because, you know, he's taken a strong uh, moral point on it from his point of view. Um, but I said, you know, look, I, I'm enjoying playing this. I, I'm going to play what I enjoy. That's the bottom line, you know. People like different things, and um, the the there is no alternative to this. That's the other thing. There's no alternative to this title that doesn't have monetization that is this good. Well, I've got my heart this level of graphics, this level of gameplay. I could bring it back here. If that's what you're angling at. What do you want with all this stuff? Revolution, Brute Squad. We're fighting the most technologically advanced army the world has ever seen, and we barely have guns. 
Ever think that might be a good reason to hold off? Every minute we're not blowing their shit up is a moment they get stronger. I know we're in water over our heads, but I need equipment, and I need you to help us figure out how to swim. I'll see what I can do about the truck. Yeah, Anthem, I didn't buy Anthem. Anthem came uh, with my graphics card purchase, because the other option, I already owned that game, so uh, whatever that was, I can't remember now. So uh, I had Anthem come free with my graphics card, and I never even installed it, because I tried the early access beta of it. Uh, a friend of mine um, had a spare key for me. Um, and I found it to be not very much fun. You know, I played it. The gameplay wasn't, you know, that good. It, it didn't entrap me, entrance me. It didn't, you know, make me want to log on and play more. It was just like, eh, well, you know, it's fun for five minutes to pretend to be Iron Man. But there's not enough to this game. It looked pretty. But it had no substance. Um, and the setting for it, with it being a sci-fi setting... I like my shooters in this kind of setting, the kind of, you know, near future, semi-realistic, but not really, you know, that kind of setting. Uh, I prefer that over sci-fis, and so this appeals to me more. Um, so yeah, Anthem just didn't do it for me. And, and on top of that, it ended up being an absolutely massive disappointment of, of a game anyhow. You know, it was very, very, very terrible. But, um, you know, Wildlands, I played, as I keep saying, I played over 800 hours of Wildlands. I had loads of fun with that. Uh, it was a hugely underrated game, in my opinion. Uh, the multiplayer on it was underrated as well. Um, that also, you know, as a game, took a fair amount of criticism, and I think it put a lot of people off even trying it. And I think that's a shame, because I think uh, it was a good game. It was well made, and a lot of people could have had a lot more fun with it than actually did. Uh, and I assume the exact same thing's going to happen with this title, but I'm not going to miss out on it. <laughs> I'm having fun. So, you know, but each to their own, right? Right, I need to bust into their secure network to find info about this truck. It's not going to be safe to land anywhere that side. Let's go over here instead. Looks good. Got some nice little bushes. Got a nice rock to hide behind in case I screw things up. And I think I'll use my special again. Try to do some fast spotting. Well, I didn't show up very much there, did I? Okay. The, the old fashioned way. Get the other drone out. Oh, I'll do that actually very quickly. I think I'll snipe that while it's this side of things. Hopefully won't alert anyone. <laughs> I said hopefully won't alert anyone. I guess it I guess it didn't hear me. Okay. Oh, another drone heading my way. Not anymore, it's not. Oh, somebody's calling reinforcements. Can't see the radio guy. Oh, he's through. The... Oh, I can. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no! Well, time to miss. No, he's dodging me. Oh, he's goddamn Neo. Can I shoot through there? I can shoot through there. All aborted. Nice. Oh crap! They're coming for me. Oh, they don't know exactly where I am yet. Make the most of that. Okay, I think, I think it's time to go loud. Move on in. And yeah, uh, another point I'd like to make about it is, um, it, it's at least my opinion that these days making uh, big expensive AAA titles takes a lot more work and resources than it used to when we were kids. You know, make, making a good game is a lot more expensive than it was. Um, and if people are wanting to throw extra money at a company that allows them to end up building a bigger and better game world that I'm going to then play and have fun in, 
then uh, I don't see that as a bad thing necessarily. You know, if you want to go the other way, you can support indie games, indie titles, and I do. I buy indie games and play indie titles as well uh, that don't have monetization in. But the consequence is that they don't have the manpower, the resources, uh, and the time to stay afloat as a business while developing a game to create something that's on this level. So, you know, and, and these big companies like Ubisoft do. As long as what they produce with that time and effort is something that I consider to be enjoyable, then I think it's, you know, it's, it's worth putting up with a reasonable amount of monetization. And by that, I mean... You know, the, the, the type of monetization that I think is okay is cosmetics. I don't have a big problem with cosmetic monetization. As long as they put in enough for free that you, you don't have to look like a moron, then if you want the extra stuff and you want to pay for that, that's fine. And I, I've had enough fun out of the free stuff in this. Pretty versatile, to be honest. I mean, we've... We've, we've tra dressed as a full-on uh, military-looking soldier guy. We've dressed as a mercenary. We've dressed as a cowboy. <laughs> you know, what more do you want? And that's all with the free cosmetics, you know? So there's enough to be going with without paying for any. But yeah, if other people want to do that, and that allows, as I said, the time and the money to be afforded... Uh, for a better game to be made as a consequence because the company can keep paying all its many employees and stay afloat for more months without releasing a title uh, to make sure they really properly polish a game, then so be it. You know, that's good. Wow, that was stupid. <laughs> I thought... I'll just read the chat while I climb this ladder and then immediately fell down the hole. There we go. Second time we got it. Uh, Sigwatch says, hmm, wonder if you'd like Tarkov then. I have looked into that. Um, one of my good friends uh, that I used to play competitive MWO with, um, he was pretty much for a good long time, possibly still his main game was Escape from Tarkov. Uh, he's a German guy, he streams it. Uh, he's been doing it for, coming up for two years now, I think, being a streamer for him. Um, and, uh, whoops, bad time to reload. Um, and I've watched him play it, I've watched other uh, people play it, I've checked it out, I've thought about it, but it doesn't look as good as this, and the way it works, it, it's, you know, it's got Battle Royale type elements to it, and the whole... Yeah, it's just, it's not the same as this. You can't just run around in Tarkov, as far as I'm aware anyway, playing a single player game style of it and, and having fun with that. It's It's got those built in multiplayer elements and I don't mind multiplayer when I'm in the, in the mood for it, but sometimes I just want to potter around in a single player world doing my own thing as well, like I'm doing right now. And the other thing I'd say is the graphics are not a patch on Wildlands or this. Escape from Tarkov's graphics are far, far uh, away from how good this looks. Also, as far as I'm aware, I don't recall there being vehicles in it. If there are, I've never seen anyone playing it use vehicles in Escape from Tarkov. And that's part of the fun for me in this, is uh, a bit of the, the, the Grand Theft Auto aspect of it, you know, racing around in cars, jeeps, helicopters. Hey, Rubian, how you doing? Oh, oh, convoy, convoy, convoy. Definitely want to loot that. Take out the escorts first. Let's find a good place to stop him on the road. see me. Got to catch him before he races by. Right. Shoot the tyres out then. I thought I hit the driver but not enough to kill him. Shooting the tyres out will also force him to stop. Go loot that. Good way of collecting up some resources. Smashing these things. Oh. 
important when you've got one of those choppers with the guided missiles it's very easy to grab these things as you saw you just lock on the uh, escorts take them out and then nail the driver or the tires on the jeep on the truck and go claim your prize we're pretty close to our objective as well so i'm just going to run straight back to the chopper hop in and then we'll go uh, locate the truck i don't know if i need to steal it or destroy it i'm hoping for destroy because that makes for a very quick mission Ruvian says, my boss has all left, so I'm watching at work. Such a rebel. <laughs> Good man. Don't get fired, though. <laughs> you got, you got to be rebel enough, but not so rebellious that you get fired. Okay, that, I assume, is my target. Steal it. Oh, I've got to steal it. <laughs> oh. I was hoping I could just destroy it. Well, let's do this a little bit differently. Actually, let's nail this guy. Come on, get the lock. There we go. I I've not actually done a base where I just hang out in the sky and try taking it out. Actually, that's probably not going to work because the sniper's probably going to shoot me out of the chopper. Aborted. That's good. No reinforcements coming in. Got a couple of these uh, these drones. And again, I can make light work of those with the chopper. But keep an eye on these infantry guys, though, because they will try to shoot me out of the chopper if given an opportunity. Take that guy out. Definitely coming right for us. Backing away. Don't let, don't really let him get in range. They can take a chopper down very quickly, those things. And this one particularly has got very little armour. Okay. Come on, this one should be the one. There we go, I think he's exploded now. I'm going to take this vehicle out as well, actually. Hopefully before the guys get... Oh no, he's not dead! He's not dead! Wow. How are you not dead? Toughest little thing ever. Come on, that sounded like a big enough explosion, surely. Right, right take now. And I'll kill the other drone now. There it is, there it is. I see ya, I see ya. That infantryman, I think, as well. Oh, there's two of them down there. I can get two of them in one volley. I think I did. Now, this is the first time I've tried taking an entire base down with just using the chopper, I think. I think normally I end up landing at some point after shooting a few things up. But... I'm going to try and clear it this way just for the variety. Quite enjoying the chilled uh, sitting in a chopper bit. Why are my infinite rockets? I suppose maybe you need the rockets to hit certain points on it, otherwise it doesn't do much damage because of the armor. But I think that's it. I think it's gone. Yeah, that's up in flames. All right, these guys down here need to go. Should do the job. I'm worrying about the sniper. There's a sniper over there. Snipers will drop a chopper very quickly. I think there's one in there. There is. Now there isn't. <laughs> right. I think it's safe to land. Oh, not quite. Not quite. One more. Hello. I see you. Oh, and another. Where's that? Oh, that's this guy over here. Okay, that's him gone. I thought I saw another enemy over here as well. Go get him. Just want to see if I can take the entire base out. Uh, where are you? Are you inside? Oh, it's that thing. Oops. <laughs> that was a terrible shot. Uh, yeah, it's this. There we go. The mortar emplacement. 
take that out. Did we wreck it? Seems wrecked. Uh, I don't know actually, is it? Let's give it one more for good measure. Yeah, I think that's wrecked. It's not taking damage anyhow. Right, let's go steal a truck. Uh, nowhere good to land here. I don't want to block my uh, route out with the truck, so I guess I'll land here. I don't really need to preserve that chopper, do I? could just let it rip the rotor blades off, because I'm only going to drive out here in that truck. But first, before I go, I'm going to grab some loot. Since we've cleared the base. And that was very easy with the, uh, with the chopper. <laughs> Rufian says, yeah, still getting the work done, so there are no complaints. Though, I am looking for something else, so uh, if you need an assistant, just let me know. <laughs> don't, don't get fired, man. That's, that's the golden rule in life, isn't it? If you're going to quit a job, always make sure you find the next one before you quit the current one. Not that I need to teach you that. I'm sure you know. Or everybody that watches me has learned that lesson one way or another. We're all old enough to know, aren't we? Well, I've definitely made that mistake myself in my youth. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to tell them to get stuff, don't you? That's putting it politely. <laughs> All right, then. Where have I got to get to? Let's just have a quick look at the map. Make sure we know how we're going to get from A to B. Okay, so we need to cross a bridge to get there. There are two options. Could go the off-road way, and that's shorter. Uh, so I need to come out of here, take a right. And yeah, okay. I think I'll go the uh, shorter route. I need some trucking le lessons off Cassian and uh, Garrison here. Road route. I'm looking forward to get to that bridge. Oh, <laughs> thought the sheep was going to move. It didn't move. Oh wow, that's that's really easy to get to. No distance at all, is it? No enemies to stop me either. Right. Okay. Should be mission complete. Yes, it is. Right. Um, probably going to fast travel, but we'll get in the Jeep just in case we're not. Right. What's next? This one. Talk to Mads. Okay, yeah, so we've got fast travel to uh, Era 1. Which... I'm now starting to uh, find much more quickly on the map. When I first started playing this game, finding that base, oh man, I just couldn't remember where it was on the map. Every time I go to it, I'm like, where is it? I was searching around for five minutes, looking up and down and everywhere. You killed Pumba. I did, Fred. I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I do like bacon. Yeah, Rubian says, definitely been there, done that. Been looking for a while now. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I think it's one of those lessons that most of us learn the hard way in life, isn't it? When you just want to quit a job, you can't stand it anymore. And you just quit before you've got a solid on the next thing. Or even before you've looked for the next thing sometimes. You think, oh, I'll be fine, I'll get one. It'll only take me a couple of weeks. And then it takes longer than that. Right, uh, Mads is over there. Raid's icon has turned a different colour. That's been white for me before and now it's purple. I guess that means I'm now high enough to pick up a raid mission. Um, I might have to have a look at that. Not that I'm going to do any raiding on my own. I don't want to raid with randoms. I'd rather do it with people that I know. 
Um, where's the shop gone? <laughs> just, I'm completely lost. Right, I've stood right by it. Just wanted to check the shop before I go talk to Mad. Since I'm here, you know. I'll check this guy out in his uh, ghillie suit. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> is that the Taliban Yeti or something? I don't know. Can I say that? I don't know. I just did. I got whatever you're looking for. Okay. Uh, that's an upgrade, so we'll take that pistol. And the sniper rifle. The HDI is actually a good sniper rifle, even though it's only a blue there. I think it's worth it. We'll take these upgrades as well. And the chest. Oops. And the gloves. Nice. Upgrade everything. Uh, do I want to buy any weapons? Uh, no, I think I'll survive with what I've got. Nice to remember to equip that stuff though before I go. Got some new stuff I didn't. Um, those exclamation marks annoy me. So <laughs> that's why you'll see me uh, go over them and make sure I get rid of them all. Get the suppressor on and that one done yeah that can stay black i'm fine with this wow i've got a lot of new weapons here so what are these lmg and a dmr i don't want either of those smg i'm not going to use that lmg can be fun um but i'm just going to equip this hti i think fit that out need a suppressor yeah that's already the site i want and we'll get the bipod on uh, yes, I will upgrade this because this is a, a decent look at the range on it. Pretty nice. Accuracy could be better though, but the damage 167 is huge. Very hard hitting sniper rifle. Okay, and yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that. Don't want to equip an LMG on this character. Right now then. Um, I was thinking of going and talking to that that raid thing before I talk to Mads, just to see what it is all about. I don't want to go do a raid, though, because that will invo involve co-oping with other people, which I'm not going to do at the minute. But if I can just pick up the mission, into the raid, how to join the raid. Um, I don't know, that sounds suspiciously like I might enter the raid if I click that, so I'll, I'll, I'll wait and I'll do that another time. Not, not in any big rush for that. Yeah, this daily done though. So how are you fearing with the blockades? Erewhon is stuffed with more people than it was ever meant to hold. With the farms gone, we need to smuggle food in or starve. All while trying to stay off Sentinel's radar and figure out what the hell they're up to. Pretty calm day then. I was hoping you could take care of something for me while I get Erewhon in order. What's that? I need to make sure Sentinel isn't closing in on this place. Roadblocks? Don't worry, those are just for the beast swarms. Look, I might be able to get into a Sentinel server, see if they have anything, and clear out anything I find. That would take a weight off my mind, thanks. Don't think this means I'm in for your crusade. Just saying, we're on the same side. Yeah, yeah, save the elevator pitch. That guy is definitely Sarge. <laughs> he needs a cigar, though. Uh, Wolfsart says, solo raid door, you got this. <laughs> uh, uh, I think your faith is misplaced. Rubin says, uh, oh, about the quitting a job before getting the next one. He says, last time I did that, I got by on sheer luck. Not going down that road with a wife, a house, and a two-year-old. Yeah, that's the thing. The older you get, the more your responsibilities are, and you don't, don't want to be making those mistakes, do you? Um, yeah, when you're young and... Don't have too many responsibilities. All you need to worry about is you rent your bills. And if you have to live off rice for a month or two and nothing else, then you'll do it. Uh, but you can't really do that when, you, uh, when you're past your early 20s or late teens, I would say. Okay, I feel like a change of scenery. Let's take a different vehicle out. 
Uh, what have you guys not seen me drive? That's really slow. I mean, it's cool and all that. I like the turret on it, but it's very slow. Let's order by speed. We're not going to go with the Tesla. Or actually, could I? Screw it. You haven't seen me drive the Tesla on a road, have you? <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe we'll give that a try. Tasku made me drive it off-road, and it was horrendous. As if anyone was going to be surprised by that. see so that's only 600 meters away so we're not going to get to drive it very far but at least want to see how it feels on a uh, flat surface Ooh, look at that um oh those guys in the way i think i'm gonna have to shoot them don't want them shooting up my lovely tesla Who have managed to get into cover? Come on, show yourself. Oh crap, terrible shot. Look up, I'm watching both through the scope. Ah, do you know what? If you're gonna be boring, I'm gonna run at you with an, with an assault rifle. There we go. So All right, get wrecked. Okay. Back to the Tesla, which is already looking completely beaten up. I mean, I, I've barely moved in it. <laughs> Look at the state of it. Just from driving over a slight hump. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's some credits there. We'll take that. Yeah, we're bailing out. <laughs> Tesla's a death trap. Where did it go? Where's the Tesla got? Oh my god, it rolled that far? I suppose it was downhill. <laughs> Pro probably should have put the handbrake on. Look at this, perfect. Just like it came straight off the shop floor <laughs> of a wrecking yard. <laughs> right, oh man. Is there anywhere I'm going to be able to get up to speed in this thing? Right, I'm going to drive <laughs> into this rock. I'm going to drive away from the... Oh my god. Gotta drive away from the objective a bit, just see, if, just so I can see what speed I can get up to in this thing. Yeah, it's pretty rapid, isn't it? But driving it on these snowy roads, not much better than driving it across country. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's fast. Let's turn it around and head back towards our objective. Oh, see ya. Man, it's, ru it's really tough controlling that back end in this snow. Okay, we're at the objective. Oh, don't drive all the way in there. The brakes the price don't work good in snow. Whew, okay, front door. We we've done this before. Driving straight in the front door of a base. <laughs> and seeing if we can get away with it. The answer is, in case anyone's wondering, no, no you can't. <laughs> you get shot. Okay, let's use my scanner thingy. Let's scan over there as well. There we go. So there's still some things we haven't revealed. Use the whole breath thing just so you guys get to see what it does. There you go. It just kind of zooms you in on your target. here. I get that mortar destroyed before I get discovered. Oh crap. Reinforcements are coming. Man. It's either really tough or I was doing far too much missing. Yeah, they are actually pretty tough. Got pretty low. Um, oh crap. Take that out. Take that out as well. So that's going to start dropping mortar rounds on my head. Be 
drones coming for me. Now as many of these dudes as I can before it arrives. Oh, there it is. Ouch. More rounds. Oh, fall back, fall back, fall back. Right, let's get the stabby thing out, because I'm definitely going to need that at some point in this fight. Get weapons reloaded. Let's try and get to a safer spot to engage from. Okay. Reload. Can I climb up there? Foul. Saw me. Oh, crap. These guys are uh, fairly tough. I managed to blow an arm power off, but I'm actually really worried about dudes with shotguns at this point. They get on top of me. I haven't taken a serious injury yet. Okay, down it goes. I'm very, very low on assault rifle ammo now, though. If I can pick some more up. Yeah, that helped. Alright, run towards the danger. That's generally a great plan, isn't it? I don't know where I am though right now, so that's good. Okay, that's silenced, so that didn't reveal my position. These guys up can't see me even though I'm out in the open. Get them nailed. What's left? Just two guys? I think it's just two guys. I can go loud for these. Or maybe there's a third somewhere. Reinforcements calling dude down there somewhere as well. Oh, hello. Where's that coming from? Another guy that I haven't revealed yet. Somewhere. Oh, there he is. There he is. Got him. Oh, I think that might be the base cleared. I think we're good to go. And what was I even needing to do here? Oh yeah, read a document. That's right. <laughs> Go on a murder spree. <laughs> hey Garrison, how you doing? <laughs> He's just seen my stream title. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> what was wrong with that? I thought it was fine. <laughs> I honestly, I sat there for a couple of minutes. I was like, I, I, ca I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything to write for it this time. So I just went with sound effects. Where's this here document we need to find? Oh, that's handy. I think it might be right in front of me, actually in this next uh, building along. Building. Tent. Sorry. It's a tent. That's what I'm after, I think. Yes, it is. We have located the computer. It also appears to be in this compound. Handy. I want to grab all the ammo I can, though, before the next bit, because, again, this might be a defend the location mission. I might need to do an awful lot of shooting. Right, got that. Uh, there's some more. That'll do. Some more in here, maybe. Yep. Alright, that'll probably do for now. Okay, so the computer's somewhere over here ish. Is it down the level or is it up here? 
But I think it's down a bit. Mm. I'm confused by this. I've approached the objective and it's disappeared. So it probably means I've got to search somewhere in this vicinity. There'll be a computer. Um, let's make this easy and use a drone then. Okay. Uh... Okay, is it in here? Oops. <laughs> in here. Uh, no. Okay. So that's where I would have thought it would be. So all we've got left is this. Okay. I don't even need to get in. Oh, there it is. I see you. I see you. Okay. Good old drone saves the day again. Hey Tasku, how you doing? Yeah, just for this week, Tasku, I, I can't keep it up long term. Uh, I've already learned this lesson in my earlier days of streaming that I can't keep it up long term. It absolutely ruins me. But uh, for this week, definitely. New game, fun to play. And I'm making the most of it before the baby's born. I, you know, it could be born in a matter of days. It could be a matter of weeks. But the due date is the 28th of this month. And what are we on now? We're on the 10th. You know, could be any time. So, while I can, though, I'm going to try to make the most of my free time and give you guys a look at this game, in case you're interested. But most importantly, I'm enjoying playing it. <laughs> so. so it does make it uh, a lot easier. Let's call that extra cover. They all bailed out. They did. You see how steady this gun is when I'm firing full auto? Like, it's, it's really nice. I'm a big fan of it. That's why I like it. Like, I, I know a lot of the time I'll, I'll do controlled burst anyhow, but... I just like the option of being able to go full auto like this and, you know, have it be reasonable amounts of control. Mission complete. Oh, there's another. There's another. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Still a guy in there? I feel like there might still be a guy in there. Oh, there we go. We've hit another battle tier. That's nice. Uh, is there a guy that's stuck in that can't get out? Uh, they all look like they're sleeping. Definitely having a good old nap in that one. Ah, uh, do you know what? It's far too tempting to not do this. I, I want to set off a chain, <laughs> chain explosion. <laughs> Let's see, uh, now then. Oh, I think if I blow this one up here, I can do a line of explosions there. Yeah, nice. <laughs> now that'll burn and that'll explode and that'll blow that one up next to it as well. Meanwhile, let's go shoot this. Uh, there's a one way to the chain. <laughs> oh, it's fun. Although I do need to remember not to stand right next to it. Because, uh, yes, you can kill yourself in those explosions. You can also kill yourself if you decide to start bandaging. This is something I've actually done. I don't know if I did this on stream or in my own time. If it's on stream, it's, uh, it's pretty funny. But if it wasn't, I'll tell you about it. So uh, I was injured. I was next to a burning vehicle. Um... I thought it was a great idea to start bandaging while I'm next to this burning vehicle. Unfortunately, uh, the flames from the vehicle were actually hitting me and killed me before I could finish bandaging myself. <laughs> so yeah, don't sit in fire and try to bandage. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the kind of information you guys are going to really need when you're playing this game. <laughs> As usual, big brain stuff. All right, let's chill there for a moment. I want to see what my reward is. Um, let's equip things. There we go. Creeping that gear score up. Little by little. That is not what I intended. Oh. Might be a good time, eh? They must be wondering what the hell happened here. <laughs> uh, where was I? Right. Got to the hats. Yeah, let's get that woolly hat on. Got a, a pistol improvement. And... Yeah, that's about it. I don't want to equip her E28. Not a big fan of that. I mean, it's all right, but I want better than all right. Okay. And the rewards. Let's check that out. What do we get this time? Well, that's my daily progression maxed out, so now I'm going to move on to doing other stuff. Same as last night. Yay, there we go. We got the 416 shorty blueprint. I mean, it's probably going to turn out to be rubbish or something, but we've got to try it, haven't we? Got to find out. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to fast travel myself to the nearest bivouac, which is here. Oh, what's that there? Shift vertical foregrip. I might actually go get that while we're in this vicinity, you know? So yeah, we'll just go to this bivouac here and we'll go uh, set ourselves up with that new assault rifle, I'll have to build it from the blueprint. And then uh, we'll check out grabbing that attachment while testing this gun. I, I'm already pretty sure I'm not going to like it as much as the one I'm already using, but I've got to give everything a chance. I want to try every gun I can. Uh, oh, there's an improvement. We'll take that. Thank you. Take those boots. Mm, that's it, I think. Right, so go to the blueprints. I've got to find it now. There's the 416 Shorty, was it? I think it was called. What we're looking for. There it is. There it is. So what's it do compared to like the 416 Assault Special? That's 30 damage. That's 25. So it's lower damage. What about the standard 416? But it's still a bit lower damage than that. It's like he's got better handling. Okay, well, we're going to build it. Oh, also worth, worth noting, it's uh, three-shot burst or full auto only. I mean, it's, uh, it's not really a big deal, but just for those of you that might prefer to, to switch to uh, semi-auto, that's not an option with that weapon. Um, and I'm going to go to a nearby place. So maybe we'll drive there. Order by speed again. Take something that's a little bit more suited to off-road. Actually, I don't think I've brought this one out, have I? Let's show you this one. Seems like a good idea. Um, let's go. Time. Um, haha. It'd also help if I equip it, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's equip it and get it set up. And also equip that new sniper rifle to get that set up too. Doesn't require much on this one. Now then, let's give it a fair shake. I've got to upgrade it, really. I'm starting to run out of resources. Need to hit another convoy if I can. That and obviously breaking down existing weapons. That will get me more resources. I'll only do that if I absolutely have to though. Because it's not that thrilling to watch on stream. One of those laborious things you do at the end of your play session in my opinion. So you can't give it an extended mag. That's interesting as well. You can give it a small mag. 
or a standard. Well, I'm not going to go small mag. Hell no. Um, let's see. I'll take the... Um, I think I'll take the flash hider again. Minus 20% shot spread. It's just useful. Again, a further minus 20% shot spread coming from the uh, the Maul DA or M-A-W-L. I don't know how people will say that, but I'm going to say Maul because I like the sound of that. Um, get the Comp M4 on it. It's my favorite sight at the moment. Uh, probably not going to use any of these grips because um, all of them come at a penalty for horizontal recoil. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. That one, rounded angled foregrip I can stick on this. So that decreases horizontal recoil. This you can't put on that many guns. Don't see this often. But it does add to my vertical recoil. But I reckon I can handle that. You just drag down a bit. Now what's that other one? That's that's what we're going to grab that's nearby. And that's minus 7 vertical recoil. But no other, no, no penalties for taking that. So yeah, okay. I'll be glad to pick up that. While I'm near it. Right, there we go. And that's the gun. Right, uh, let's have a look how the stats are looking. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's fairly accurate. I mean, for something that's made for close quarters, it's not bad. The range is obviously not amazing compared to some of the other assault rifles. They'll shoot out a bit further. But it's, it's long enough. We're not talking SMG range or anything like that, you know. Don't you shoot further than the pistol. So, uh, yeah, it looks all right. Looking forward to giving that a try, but as I said, I, I, I'll be surprised if it's uh, as good as that VHS that I was using. I've really enjoyed that so far, but I'll give it a go. Right, now I want to select that there, because I want to go grab it. So, how far away? 1.3 kilometers. Why follow the road when you can drive through a fence? Is there a sensible route down there? Or am I going to be driving off a cliff? I'll have a look. I think I might be able to just get straight down here, you know. Oh, hey. Just minding my business. I need to get antsy. Right. Let's go down here. Smash up the fence. Oh, that's funny a little bit. Not really that surprising, though. Um... That's not the objective. The objective is 500 meters away from this position, which probably run the rest of the way, I think. But the main reason I'm stopping is I just want to loot this since it's right here. Two twenty-four purple. That does not beat two twenty-four yellow. Well, they're in a, they're an upgrade day. Okay. Um Back into our rather smashed up jeep then. Let's have a look. Do I want to creep closer? Yeah, we may as well. I need to run down this hill, is there? Not when we can drive. Oh, is that a convoy coming our way? Oh, that's a convoy coming our way. Pretty sure it is. Quick, get the roadblock set up. Oh, we, oh I can't get an extended mag, can I? that driver let's get this driver i got him no, I didn't. why are they still driving am i shooting the wrong side all right please stop thank you all right they're spreading out coming to get me oh god I'm the other way as well What's getting flanked? I don't know where they've gone. They haven't popped up yet, so I'm going to take the opportunity to grab this while I can, because uh, I don't want it. I don't want to grab it after it blows up. Hello, I see it. We'll go get the rest of our rewards. That seems all right. It's not that bad. I mean, I was uh, wasting some shots trying to shoot these guys that were behind the hill without realising, because I couldn't quite see them. But when I was shooting at stuff that I could see, pretty pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, look, it's uh, fairly steady. It's got a little bit of uh, upwards kick to it. That vertical recoil. 
But again, as I've said before, vertical recoil is a lot easier to control than horizontal. Drag down a little bit as you fire. Handleable. And it shoots. Eventually, after a long burst, it starts shooting up and to the right or up and to the left. So it is going to be better used in controlled bursts. But I mean, look, it's pretty damn steady a lot of the time. Right, uh, we've got a we've got a, an upgrade to grab down here, haven't we? Have a look. So that's a big drop. Maybe I'll go down a more sensible route. That's still quite a drop, but I didn't break my ankles, so we'll call that a win. Okay. Get out the... No, no, not the rocket launcher. No Steiner scouting. <laughs> that is not how I want to scout this. I want to use my special ability. God. <laughs> Imagine if I thought I was launching the scanner. I'd just shoot a rocket into the middle of that base. Well, that did the scouting pretty good. I do like that for a time saver. Um, okay, there's quite a lot of stuff, actually. Quite a lot of stuff here, but... Uh, I mean, it's almost certain that I don't have to kill very much. Possibly just this one guy on the left here to actually get to the objective. Oh, hang on. Uh, that that uh, drone's coming a little bit close. Oh, crap. That was not so smart. We got him on the second. Spent more time lining that up, shooting through a fence. Okay, now, if I just cut my way through... I got the torch equipped. No, I haven't. I want the torch. Oh, the MP's probably going to come in handy, though. Uh... Well, nah, the rocket launch is more handy than the EMP. Screw it. Breach torch for EMP. Can I breach the fence here? Yes, I can. Get that done. Oh, crap. Hold on. There's somebody over there. If he doesn't patrol around and see me while I'm cutting a hole in this fence. Probably also take him out. Or step him through. Where is he? Good question. Oh, I see you. I think he was alone. That'll do. Sneaky, sneaky time. Now, I'm a little bit worried about that drone coming and spotting me. I'm actually going to move this body so it doesn't get discovered. Probably going to end up dropping it right in front of somebody's view, aren't I? But we'll at least try. We'll make some effort to be sneaky. There we go. No, no, no. <laughs> I think that scientist might be aware that there's a body there. Ooh, hello, hello. Let him uh, come away a little bit. Guess that's as good as it's getting. Here's the attachment. Okay, so we had to kill three people to get to this. It wasn't too bad, was it? But now I want to kill more people for fun. There's a loot box up there. I need to go up those steps. Crap. Don't look at me. Yep, didn't see me. We're all good. Didn't want it to hear my footsteps either. If anyone patrols into here, they are going to discover that body. Uh, those bodies, rather. There's a flying drone there. Can't get a bead on it. And if I do shoot it, it'll explode and alert people. So, perhaps... Oh, no, there we go. Look, I knew it. They find that dead body sooner or later. Okay. Uh, keep moving. Don't panic. There's this lead to... Hi. Oh no, 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 no. Shoot him anywhere I can hit him at that point. 
They're going for headshots. Pistol out. Where's that skill point? I don't need it. I've already maxed out my skill tree, but um, I think I may as well pick it up while I'm here. In case they expand the skill tree, I don't have to pick it up later. Right, we're definitely going loud at this point, though, because the bad guys everywhere. They're coming right for me. I think I'm going to use my special so then I can see what's coming at me. Oops. Okay, he's coming up the stairs right now. Another one. You coming? Or are you just chilling downstairs? I lost sight of the hostiles. Find them. Don't let them escape. That door's not secure, is it? Well, they've lost. They've lost sight of me. Might be worth going quiet again, actually. God, this pistol's terrible. Screw that. I want to go loud. Kill them quick. Oh, hey, drone. Is he gone? Is that damn drone gone. Come back, drone. Ah, those things, you see how quickly they move once they're alert. So annoying. Oh, I prefer to shoot those from far away. Oh, there we go, he's made a mistake of hovering. All right, go grab this. Move out. See if we can uh, spark a little bit more action. Oh, they're coming. Need to reload. The thing I'm most worried about is that heavy there. He wanders in. Be in for a bad time. Right. Do another quick scan. Oh, here comes the heavy. Come on. There we go. Dealt with. Great thing about being in a building is those drones have a hard time getting to you. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can find another way out since they're all guarding that door. Let's see about going this way again. Confuse them temporarily. I doubt that'll last long, so I'm gonna make the most of this. Try to really lose them. Get up at that mortar site, because if I have to fight outside, that's gonna keep raining hell down on me. I don't enjoy that. Oh crap. I failed at stairs. <laughs> Getting low on ammo as well. coming. Oh, that was risky, but we got away with it. Now, are you going to come out of this door? Can I shoot you through the wall? Oh, I can shoot through the wall. Okay. 
Okay, now, are we down to drones? No, still got a couple more infantry coming in. Get them wrecked first. One down. Oh crap, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. See ya. Alright, now I think we're down to drones. Okay. I saw one inside here. Let's try to see if I can get a shot through. Nah, he's come outside now, hasn't he? Yeah, he's coming right for me. Coming right for me. Use my uh, special marksman ability once yet, have I? I should really use it to take these things out. Like, that one I managed to take out without needing it. Okay, um, I think I'll uh, I'll load them up for the next one though. So you basically just load in special armor-piercing rounds. I've got five of them. See if I can get up here. This gives me, nah, not really giving me a good vantage point, is it? Where's my retreat point if he comes around the corner? God. Right. Okay, you see the difference that makes. Two shots. Two shots. I mean, I did get the first shot into the sensor. So it did do extra damage, but... Uh, definitely good for taking out drones. Those uh, armor-piercing rounds, unsurprisingly. Okay, um, well that's all the scary stuff dealt with here. It's going to hold those two extra powerful rounds in the rifle for now, so I'm not going to reload. I'm going to take out that turret in a moment as well, but I figured I may as well loot this while I'm up this end. Uh, Rubian says, pulled a classic Rubian last night. Drone scouted this large base, planned out my attack, set up a nice spot, went prone, picked a target, held my breath, pulled the trigger. No silencer. Instant, instant mortifier. <laughs> GG, best sniper ever. Oh, look, it's happened to all of us, I'm sure, Rubian. Don't you worry, mate. <laughs> so, I mean, when I do it, because I run one silenced... Well, preferably, I run a silenced pistol, a silenced sniper rifle, but an unsilenced assault rifle. And sometimes I forget that I've got the assault rifle equipped. I just go loud before I intend to. It can happen. Oh, no, no, don't reload. Oh, screw it. I accidentally reloaded. I didn't mean to do that. That's all right. These things will die with two shots generally anyway. Um, I'm going to go out through here. Where's that loot? Oh, it's up there. Okay. There must be a way up the stairs. Yes, there is. What floor is it on? This one? Yes, this one. Ah, who needs ankles anyway? <laughs> What's spotting me? Another enemy over here that I was unaware of, apparently. Oh, well, I'm sure I've got time to loot before I go deal with that. Let's uh, try this rifle some more as well, because uh, that's what I wanted to do. Ah, I see ya. Sniper. Oh, he's not a sniper. He's a rocket troop. But he's in a sniper tower. And loot this drone as well over here, because that has some goodness in it. And then let's find a way out of here. I wish you could drive these weird, high-tech, strange things. I suppose that's probably autopiloted, isn't it? Or some AI thing. But these bubble cars, I mean, come on. Why can't we drive these? Why not? Why not? They look fun. Uh, right. Let's figure out what we're going to do next. So what's that? Checkpoint. Uh, meh. Not interested in that. Let's see what's in our vicinity. 
STG muzzle brake. Okay, that's for a shotgun. Um, not really that interested in shotguns, but since it's nearby, we'll go for it. I want to collect up all the attachments eventually. Again, I think uh, I think I can just take a ground vehicle to this location. I've done a lot of flying so far when I've been streaming this game. And it is really the best way of getting from A to B. It's efficient. Gives you a bird's eye view of stuff. But it's nice to drive on the ground every now and then, isn't it? Okay. Got a boots upgrade. A hat. And which of these trousers? Oh, screw it. Doesn't really matter, does it? Those ones will do. Uh, do I need to buy some more ammo for the rocket launcher? Yes, I do. And also, I'll buy a breach torch as well. I, I, I think I might be... Yeah, I can probably craft that, but I can't be bothered. It's effort. I've got plenty of cash. Right, uh, let's go find myself a vehicle. Uh, we could take a motorbike, couldn't we? We take an electric motorbike. <laughs> I think that one's electric anyway. We'll, we'll soon find out, depending on how noisy it is. Don't know if you guys saw uh, me and Garrison racing around on those the other day, but they're, they're not really uh, very safe <laughs> at all, these motorbikes. Especially not where there are many trees around. It's pretty quiet. Uh, that's definitely quiet enough to be an electric one, isn't it? Accelerates pretty rapidly as well. What oh, crikey. It's like a scrambler course here. Oh, look at that. Navigated like a pro. Oh, no. Drones nearby. Get out of dodge time. Find a collectible down there. <laughs> <laughs> I've done all that, like downhill, dodging and weaving, dodging all the rocks, <laughs> and then just failed to see this one right in front of me. It's fine, I wanted to dismount here anyway. <laughs> Send the train up, see what we're up against. Ah, uh, wow, well, yeah, I'm never going to be able to drive down to that, am I? It's the easiest way of getting to it down here yeah so there's some stairs there you have to go up and then run along this wall and then I think when I'm on that wall I can probably afford to chuck in a scanner see anything that I'm gonna miss but we'll scan a few things now oh, I got a flying drone definitely a lot of stuff around here oh hold on oh crikey look drone runway here on the drone there I see ya on dudes I need to uh, drop down a bit to spot them a bit faster uh, yeah dudes absolutely everywhere what's this chopper that chop ah is that just one of the high-tech choppers yeah it is it's one of the high-tech choppers but with no camo on it. it's just black that one uh, I've already got myself one of those. A lot of those flying drones, though. That's actually the scariest aspect about this location for me. Those flying drones, really nasty and almost impossible to shoot without alerting people. And then that's what I want to pick up inside this big glass room. So I've got to go down and into this complex, which uh, would make things pretty dangerous. Because it looks like, according to all the red blips, Things I've not discovered yet. There are a lot of guys inside there. As well as having to shoot all these guys outside as well. And uh, they've got one of those uh, little uh, choppers. Looks like a, a cobra. I'm informed by our American friends. Right. Okay. On with the business of killing stuff then. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to switch my weapon up. Because um, reasons. <laughs> uh, because basically I want a bigger magazine because once I'm inside that compound there could be a lot of stuff coming at me very quickly that I need to be able to deal with and I don't want to have to be reloading too often 
Um, so that um, 416 shorty, as nice as it's been so far, doesn't have the mag capacity that I'm going to require for this situation. So I'm going to switch it out. No, not the barrel. Um, I'm going to switch it out for something. Um, see what we've got. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> there we go. Let's see what we've got. Uh, mm, that's my best assault rifle that I currently am carrying. Yeah, it looks like I'll be going down to the VHSD2 then again. All right, well, that's fine by me because it's a good gun, basically. One that I'm very used to. Um, right, just check that I'm not missing anything here. I, I look at this every time and there's there's not one that improves your horizontal recoil. They all add to horizontal recoil, so I'm going to go with just the uh, nothing attachment there. Okay. Got to reload as well, because when you equip an extended mag, you've got to do a reload first to actually fill it up. Otherwise, you'll still be on the 30 rounds that it starts with, just you know, so nobody gets caught out by that. Might not be something you're aware of. I'll switch the sniper rifle as well. Not too much ammo. I'm gonna nail this guy so that I can afford to. Uh, oops. So I can afford to move down to his position because I think I'm gonna end up sliding down here at some point. Oh, well, maybe not. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Um, but luckily, no, don't slide all the way. Don't slide all the way. My God, <laughs> I thought I was going off there as well. <laughs> Whew. All right. Um. And now we've got to start the creep along this wall. But I can actually also use this at this point. Get my uh, get my big scan on. If I can reveal. Why did that reveal nothing? Disappointment. And those flying drones. They are going to reveal. Oh crap. Take them out. They are going to reveal dead bodies fairly quickly. So I need to be wary of what I'm killing and where. And as soon as I have to kill one of those drones, it's going to alert the base. I'll be on alert. I'll be hunting for me immediately. And there's not really anywhere I can run here other than, you know, back up to uh, where I've just been. And, and hold up at that position because if I try to leave the base itself far too open and there's a big ass hill that I've got to run up really risky business if you're being chased by these wolf guys they're a little bit hardcore ah, now then, how am I going to do this I can't shoot that the explosion will alert people I can't get a bead on this guy down here because he's behind something Maybe uh, the flap of his jacket blowing in the wind, but that's not enough. I'm not going to kill him by shooting his flapping jacket, am I? Oh, crap. Drone coming our way. Okay, this is where I feel I'm going to have to shoot it, because otherwise it's going to scan and see a dead body. So I'm already... I'm just going to pull way, way back. Yeah. Dead body discovered. Oh, crap. Dodged. Right. Bad news. Very bad news. Right, shot the armor panel off it. It's not enough to kill it. Oh god, there's loads of them now. Okay, this is where I've got to hold up for now. Three of them down. That's three of them down. But the worst is yet to come. As the wolves are going to be approaching. See if I can sneak forward and take out that sniper up top. Oh no, that's aware of me as well. Isn't it? That's that dealt with. Chopper coming. Where is it? Oh no. Oh no, another drone. 
I was not expecting that other drain. Oh, I've got them all. Chopper's still going. I'm going to come back for another pass. I can hear dudes running for my position. I can hear footsteps. another drain. Got that one. Now can I finally get to do with that sniper, I wonder. Still hiding behind his little crate down there. What's that? What's shooting me now? Is it you? Or is it another turret somewhere that I don't see? way down there. Yeah, it is a turret. I'm being shot by a turret that's way down on the ground. Sniper's down, though. Um, okay, I think I can get that. Okay, turret dealt with. What I'm concerned about is the inevitable pouring out of tons of these dudes from inside the compound. <laughs> it's going to happen at some point. I don't know why they haven't come out yet. See what we can see from here. Okay, he's not even looking the right way. Now, now it's gone to vanish. Okay. Take that as a positive. Oh Christ! Ah, that's an anti air uh, SAM site or, or something. So if I'd have approached that with an attack helicopter or tried to take off and steal their attack helicopter. That would have come right for me. And probably shot me out the sky almost immediately. Um, Alright, what can I get a bead on? Almost you. Not quite. I'm moving. Crap. I have to go loud, I think, here. Don't trust the pistol I've got at the moment to kill things quick enough with the science pistol. Again, this is why I like the M1911. It's uh, quite hard hitting for a silenced pistol. Right, okay. I feel like we're making progress. Right, I'm going to try using my scanner again because I used it and it didn't really pick anything up. I, I wonder if it if stuff's too thick to be picked up down here. Oh no, no, there we go, look. We can see some stuff. We've certainly not shown them all up, but my god, there's a lot. That goes down a lot of levels. Wow, did you see how much stuff there was? There was a lot of stuff. <laughs> if you missed it, take my word for it. There was a lot. Okay, let's see uh, let's See if they have any other anti-air. They do. I'm going to have to land this real quick. They don't. There's a lot of guys there. Look at all them. Less of them now. going to patiently keep dealing with them this way for now because it's, uh, it's a good cheap way of killing these guys without getting through too much of my ammunition on my rifle. Um, there will come a point where I run out of guys to shoot at out here and I'm going to have to go in do things the old fashioned way. It's pretty tough. I'm uh, friendly to hit some of them out. See if I can expose them from that cover. Another dude there, actually. I haven't spotted him. Oh, I'm on there. Guys have moved over. I think. 
think I've cleared them out. I'm just going to land up here a sec because I don't. Oh, there's a drain there. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to take that out with a chopper, am I? I don't think so, anyway. Nope. Okay, I'm just going to land because there's some loot up here and I don't think I'm going to be able to come back for that. Right, I'm going to land now. Also, this drone needs taken out. Nice of him to sit still for a while, but those things, when they jink about, are really, really nasty. Um, even when they sit still, you know, that took a lot of bullets to take down, didn't it? Yeah, that's all dark and scary down there. I <laughs> I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to land down the bottom and take that way up, I think. Uh, that way, yeah, up from down there. Through the complex. Chopper's a little bit dinged up now. But I think she'll get us down the next level, at least. A few alarms going off. Okay, down, please but without plummeting dangerously. We do have a ride out of here, if I can come back to this point, because we've got this uh, even better chopper. Where is it? There it is, that one there. So uh, we'll use that as our ride out, assuming we survive this. Tell you what, after all this work I've put in, it would be gutted if, uh, gutting if I screw up at this point and get killed. <laughs> Or accidentally step off here and die. Yeah, let's not do that. Get away from the edge. <laughs> now then, how do I get up there? I think I've got to go through this complex to achieve that. Oh, I hear things. What's spotting me? Am I really getting spotted by that? Okay, okay. Let's find him. Oh, spot me. oh god, there's a turret there. Okay, I didn't see that. I thought I was getting spotted by a sensor on one of those predator drones. Whatever they're called. Come on. Is he going? Oh crap, he's running along there, is he? Got him. And on the plus side, at least I'm being alert. Hopefully drawing them in towards me. I'll make it a little bit quicker to kill them, but I don't want to get swamped and overwhelmed, do I? Okay, we've vanished again. Making sure I grab all this ammo. Definitely going to need it. Now then, got to figure out how to get to this uh, this gear I'm after. Must be a way up somewhere. Looking for stairs leading up, I think, at this point. Yeah, so 82 meters above me at this stage. So, let's see. Farewell. Ah. There, stairs. Where's this taking me, though? Oh, that's just to this balcony here. I need to go up further. But then again, I can loot all these dudes I shot earlier, can't I? Well, you may as well do that. Ammo is good. Right. But I need to find stairs that go up even further. Hold on. Just, just Let's just be sure there's not like a... A little entrance I'm missing along this wall. No. Okay, right. I'm sure there's no way up from here. Find some other stairway up. We've not been through here yet. I mean, I, I may well have to go down through through this bit there. Through down there. In order to go up. Because uh, it doesn't look like this, this little uh, area has a route any higher than than where I am now. So let's go down then. Let's do that. 
There's another way through there as well. Actually, I could take that route or this route. Uh, yep, that leads to a doorway there. Check here. A bit worried about going into these dark areas with these walls around there because I've done I've done some areas before where you just kind of walk around a corner and there can be a, a wolf just hiding in a little dark patch that you don't see. And it will scare the crap out of you and also possibly kill you if they're carrying a shotgun as well. So I'm trying to be cautious about going into somewhere that's too dark where I might not be able to see straight. Or, you know, see well enough through the darkness. Um, yeah, if I, if I could turn that generator off, but again, I don't think that's a smart plan. I don't think that's a good idea. Because then I'll be disadvantaged more than the AI. <laughs> I do have night vision, but it's uh, not that great. Right, I just thought I'd try this vehicle because I've never been in one before. You know, I might be alerting the entire complex to my presence. Uh, pretty cool. Seems like they're going to be quite fun off-road. Wow, this place is huge. See why they leave some vehicles there. I'm glad I chose not to run. Jesus. I'd have been running forever, wouldn't I? Every time I get to a blind lip, I'm slowing down because I'm not sure when this little uh, road will end. And I'll, oh, there. That looks like it. Let's dismount here, I think. Oh. Okay, that looks safe enough that way anyway. I think there's dudes this way. And again, I can't see in that doorway because it's all dark in there and it's all bright out here. This is one of those risky spots where there could just be a wolf sitting there waiting for me. Uh, definitely losing alertness level, so. Oh no, it's back. Quick, adjust eyes, adjust. Alright, this is where it gets dangerous again, I think. So what's my retreat point? This desk isn't really much help, I guess here then. Well, it's pistol for that job. Really wish I'd built myself an M1911 before this mission. Oh, this is doing all right. What, what is he? Oh crap! Bad time to hit escape. Oh my god, they're everywhere! Quick, go loud. Get the good gun out. Oh, definitely need to fall back for a sec. Health is very low at that point. Okay. Recharging, recharging, recharging. We're kind of drone up here as well. Okay, gonna reload. Drone to the other side of that wall. If I can take it out, maybe. What is it though? Crap, taking fire from somewhere else. Was it a turret as well out there? I think there was a turret out there. Maybe that, maybe that turret had no line of sight. I can't see it. Yeah, there's no way it could see through there. I assume it was just the drone shooting me. All right, well, I think that's this base cleared, though. I think the danger is over, and we can just loot to our heart's content. Um, I'm going to go get the thing that I came for, though, quickly, just in case I'm wrong and I accidentally screw up and get shot. Let's go grab that. Because this would be a long old uh, base clear to miss out on this. Not even anything I want either. It's just the shotgun muzzle break. I mean, I might want it in the future when I get around to testing the shotguns. But they're pretty much the last thing I'm going to mess around with. Um, top priority for me. Assault rifles. Then sniper rifles. Then SMGs. 
then designated marksman rifles. Uh, well, I suppose pistols should be in there somewhere. But shotguns, solidly at the bottom of my list of weapons to test. So they're a very limited use, basically. Short range. Yeah, they're powerful. It's nice. But you've basically got to be on top of someone before they come into their own. And if you're on top of someone, you're already in a bad place. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get to that. I don't think I can. Uh, well, there will be a way, but I mean... Uh, let me rephrase that. I don't think I can be bothered to figure out how to get to this. <laughs> Unless there's a doorway through here. No, no door there. Oh, what about this way? Ah, there we go. Alright. Figured it out easy enough. Oh, there's also uh, yellow somewhere. Oh, picked up a shotgun. I suppose that's... Uh, logical considering the attachment that's here um yeah i want to figure out where that yellow is though and what that yellow is i'm not even sure what level it's on yeah this this is not the way this is the way out i think well i might just have to sacrifice that yellow and leave it behind Oh, right, I know where I am now. Yeah, this is this is the way in that I didn't want to use because it just looked like you're crawling down into a deep, dark hole and there could be anything sitting at the bottom of this ladder waiting to shoot you. There's a long, old ladder to come down to not know what's below you or, you know, have something just hidden down the corridor. Oh, my God. <laughs> and that is why I made sure I picked up the, the attachment that I came for. Because imagine if I hadn't, and I just slipped off that ladder and died, and I've just cleared the base but not grabbed the thing that I wanted. That would have been soul-crushing, but luckily it's not. I don't care. It gave me a quick way out. I'll take it. So um, I can live without that that one last yellow item that probably would have taken me 10 minutes to search around and find. Uh, I can cope with that. So that was the P45T. Okay, I mean, that's all right. That's not a bad pistol, is it? But it's... I still prefer the M1911. That's my uh, weapon of choice for a pistol, I think, at the moment. Um, and I did like it in the previous game as well. So there we go. We've got a couple of new attachments. Uh, what have I got over here? Vertical foregrip. Yeah, that probably come in handy for some guns. Uh, there's a bunch more I could pick up at this point, but I think I think I'll do a side mission. Let's show you one of those, because that's uh, it's not a story spoiler or anything, is it? All right, investigate the paint. Rewards cloaking spray. Ah, uh, well, I don't really need that, but whatever. That's what we're going to do. So let's figure out how far we've got to go to get to that. 8.1 kilometers. Definitely going to fast travel it. Here we are. There's the nearest bivouac. That one will do. Shotgun kills drones quick, says Tasker. Yes, uh, it does give you the tip about that. But do you know what? Most of the time when you're killing drones, they're very far away. That's the best way to kill drones. Uh, and if they're all over you, uh, the, the crap has hit the fan already. Um, and I don't see the point of carrying a shotgun around just for the one purpose of shooting a drone that's right up close to me in my face and jinking about when, when the crap hits the fan. But... Uh, you know, if you want to do that, go for it. But I'd rather have a, a, a fully auto weapon for going loud with and a long range weapon that's silenced for picking off guys at distance. That's the combo I like. So there's no room for a shotgun in my philosophy. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's not something I'll, I'm ever really going to equip myself with. I don't even think they're any good in multiplayer either. If you're playing PvP, they're not that great. Range and... Range and, and being quiet is king in PvP or rushing with full auto assault rifles and SMGs. But again, shotguns just don't really uh, don't really have a place. Uh, I'm going to keep using this Overseer because I like how I don't really have to worry too much about landing it compared to uh, the other one with its narrow little landing gear and tipping over. This one's it's not as robust in terms of the damage it can take, but all you're doing is getting close and hiding somewhere. It's easier to park because it can land more readily on rough terrain. I also need to equip the new items I bought. 
Uh, I swear I bought... Oh, hold on. It was a... Yeah, it was that, wasn't it? Oh. That, that's... <laughs> Well, that was a waste of money. Never mind, I'll break it down for parts later. But it's uh, the exact same level as the one I'm already carrying. So there's no point in me equipping that. Okay. Nothing suspicious here. Just just a delivery guy bringing your pizza in a chopper, landing badly on rocks. Nothing to see here. Go loud. See, the assault rifle does the job perfectly well for those drones. Why, why do I need a shotgun? And the assault rifle does other things so much better than a shotgun ever would. What the hell? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that there was a rocket placed over me that I never actually saw because I was scoped the whole time. So I just sat in its explosive zone. Never mind. I hadn't killed too much of this base. We can do that over. Um, how do I get down from here, though? This will do. Right, let's use my special this time to scout. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. I think we nailed it. Got to be more than one rocket, dude, because I killed that guy before. There was still another one. Oh, crap. The drone's probably going to find a body sooner or later. Yeah, so they're on alert. And around here. Reinforcements, that's fine. I'll shoot whatever chopper appears. Got the ammo. I'm gonna get angles on them at the moment. Here comes the chopper. Oh, I heard it this time. Oh, oh crap, drone on me. I see a lot of dudes running this way, so I'm just going to run for cover. Reloaded. <coughs> Ow. Okay, that's a sniper for sure. One less sniper. Where's that coming down? Close. Not the one. Right, keep moving. Go back the way I was rotating around. I want to get close to them now. They, there's not that many of them, really. i sure I can just go in and wreck them now. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. Apparently, uh character decided to swim through that bit. Ah, yeah, 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 whatever. Die.
just a sign. I want to go kill that mortar emplacement just because they're annoying. So I haven't quite figured out where the weakest spot on those is. What? There's more? Okay. Sounded like it's over here somewhere. Bad time, bad time. Get away from that. Okay, well this is my objective. Just gonna wait till I kill these dudes though before I uh, start reading something. Nothing worse than having your read interrupted. Actually, rethink that position. There we go. Still a little bit concerned about this sniper across the way. Crap. Got an injury. Clear that quickly. Oh, no, that's not what I'm after. Let's go for the stabby. Ah, it's no point. I keep trying to shoot that guy through there. I'm trying to guess at his position through the foliage, but it's not really working. So we'll get a better view. There we go. I'll do the job. Alright, now I think the base is cleared. Easy. Uh, is there more loot up there? There might be more loot up there. Let's check. I think it's actually down from my current position, isn't it? It is. Oh well. It's worth finding out. Alright, let's go uh, read that objective thingamajiggery, whatever it is. New clue about the paint. Okay. Brilliant. All right. Investigate the scale R and D center. Can do. These upgrades in first. Oh, is that an upgrade? Yeah, the AK seventy four is an upgrade. All right, I'm going to switch to that temporarily. Since it gets my gear score up. Uh, what do I want here? Definitely the flash hider, I think. Yep, that one. And that one. All right. Get my gun painted. Lovely. All right, there we go. 
So, where's that? Oh, that's really near. Okay, so I can get that next bit of research from this compound as well. Um, I don't know how to get down to that loot box down beneath me. Oh, you can't run through windows. Oh, there was someone... Uh, where I ran past someone earlier that had information. Don't appear to see them anymore. No, right, maybe that was somewhere else then. Okay, where's that loot going to be? Oh, hold on. There's still someone out here. What's spotting me now? I don't know. I want to grab this loot, though. So it's a yellow. What do we get? Gloves. 226. That is an improvement. Stick that on. Get this. Oh crap, stop, stop, stop. Oh, he's in there. Rocket dude. <laughs> not anymore, he's not. He's bits of a rocket dude. Right, uh. I want to go down there, because I think that's where that chest is. Oh, crap. Let's, let's just have a look. It might be really simple to get to. Yeah, it's just around the corner here, I think. Yeah, I didn't have to go too far out of my way, did I? Desert Eagle. Alright, gets the gear score up. Trigger this next bit. Oh, hi. Just need to steal your laptop. Another clue. Uh, yeah, okay. It's not really telling me much. Locate the scientist. Where's that? 1.2 kilometers away. Alright. I have to travel for that, but. I did see a handy chopper nearby that I could use to travel to my chopper. <laughs> I'd just take it straight there, actually. Uh, AK-12, and that is an improvement as well. So before I even fire a shot with the AK-74, I'm going to upgrade to the AK-12. And actually, I do prefer the AK-12, given the choice between the two. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that find. Uh, no, all of these are going to add horizontal recoil, aren't they? So, again, going to leave that. Stealth movement speed. Yeah, all right. Okay. Right, get to the chopper. Take a motorbike to the chopper. I could just take a motorbike to my next location, actually. Only 1.2 kilometers away, isn't it? It's not really that far to go. So, uh, go down the stairs here, aren't I? Oh, almost wedged it. <laughs> All right. See if I can uh, figure out what this car is over here. Oh, it's one of these little buggies. All right, let's take that. All right, where do I need to get to? I've got to get the other side of that mountain range. Um, it's a road that leads me up past. Doesn't look like it, does it? I wonder if I can jump across. I, I already know the answer. Probably no. <laughs> oh, actually, there is a crossing point down here, isn't there? Let's use that. I might be able to just race up and over the mountain. All right, come on. Line it up, line it up, line it up. There we go. Is that crossed? All right, so I'm thinking I'm going to try and go through the gap up here. Go round a little bit, round this rock. Don't you roll! Don't you do it! Oh no! Oh 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 oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it's still going. It's on fire. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that that ended well. <laughs> 
I thought that thing would be a little bit st more stable with it being so low to the ground. I thought wrong. Uh, okay, uh, we've got to get over there. I now don't have a vehicle. <laughs> I'm just going to run. It's not really that far anyhow. Maybe I'll spot a motorbike between here and there or something. <laughs> a sniper out. So, got to locate a scientist at this residence. And we're really close now, 500 metres away. Look through the scope. See anything yet? Oh, there's some dudes over here somewhere. Where's that? Oh, I see ya. Just two? No, that's three. Is that all of them? I think that might be all of them. How do you claim protein from the pigs? Like, surely you must be able to... I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's a bad time to no. up. Found a vehicle. Found two vehicles. Now I don't need one. Okay, I've reached the residence. Now, what have I got to do? Find the scientist's house. Okay, so it's somewhere within this compound then, I guess. Um, let's fire that in. There's definitely going to be bad stuff in here. Okay. what I was delivering, but it's not going to get there. Okay, so I'm guessing... Oh, crap. Bad timing. Goddamn drone. And that's why I shoot those drones. Where's it gone? You will pay. Calling reinforcements now. Oh, I haven't got time to interrogate him. Top drone. Alright. I'm quick. Maybe I can do this. Everything. I got nothing more to say. Please, don't hurt me. Chopper. Okay. Close to going down. Fixed. 
God, more shotguns. Damn it. Don't know why, but I'm really struggling to hit this chopper pilot this time around. Thank you, finally. <laughs> Want to nail that guy calling in the reinforcements as well. I'm going to get a bead on him though. I think he's behind buildings from uh, my current position. grab loot. The objective is over here, so I don't need to uh, go that way just yet, but I don't know. I kind of feel like killing everything here first since we've almost done it. There's only two more things. I might have to travel around somewhere on this compound further, so... Oh, crap. Uh, there's not only two left. There's a little more than that, so. God. Oh dear, that shooting. Okay. I think we're clear now. And we finally got rid of that guy that can keep calling reinforcements in. I've run all the way down here. I'm going to use this car to drive my way back to the objective. Or at least to the stairs. <laughs> I might be able to fling it up the stairs. We'll see. It's quiet and electric. <laughs> it's kind of working. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there goes the neighbourhood. Hey, your Uber's here. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, do what we've got to do. I think, I think I've got to talk to someone. Find the damn stairs. Oh, there they are. Walk right by them. Oh, it's not someone, it's something. Investigate these files. Another clue was this journal. Sentinel forces to work on their drones, but their cruelty has driven us to develop a new project. We've been working in a new Sterling Province boathouse on a spray that will screw with the drone sensors. We slipped some into the recent drone trials. Now we're using it on a boat we've hidden north of Kelso Fields and just south of Murmur Delta. Maybe our first and only attempt to escape. All right, so on to the next bit then. Reach the hideout. All this just for a can of anti-drone spray that I'm probably never going to use. Yeah, I like to do these side missions. At least do one. Did have a couple of close calls doing this mission, though. Slow your roll. 
things got a little bit scary. When that chopper was around and I was really struggling to hit that pilot. Oh, no, I managed to get the choppers down a lot quicker than that. And uh, it was a pain because it was uh, rotating around and limiting where I could move while I was getting rushed by guys at the same time. Those guys with shotguns are pretty scary. Two shots and you're down. I was playing this on a higher difficulty. I'm pretty sure one shot I'd be down. Is that 3.6 kilometers? It, is this banged up electric car really going to make it that far? Probably not. <laughs> That's not going to make it five meters at this rate. Why, why did I choose to drive down this bit? Why? Why would you choose that? Quick, get out before it explodes. It's going to explode. <sighs> There she blows. Okay. Um, let's build some stamina up before I do the next slide. It's going to be a big one, I think. If I can find my own transport there, though, rather than just fast travelling for this one. Get a bit of stamina back. Right, come on. Do me for a little bit. Predator drone incoming. Light prone. Oh God, I can't roll in the... There's no dirt to roll in. Bad. Oh, there we go. Just found some in time. Whew. Of course, if you're lying on a rock, you can't roll in the dirt. There's no, there's no dirt on a rock. That was close. That was very close. Could have been in for a rough time. Oh God, it's still not over. Surely it's far, far enough away now. I think it is. Well, at least I've got time to recharge my stamina, didn't I? There's a vehicle. We'll take that. Get us the rest of the way, assuming we don't have to drive through over any mountains. Oh, there's a heavy there as well. Okay. Would have been bad if I didn't spot him. I'm going to take the heavy out first. Got to hit that head. Oh, God. Oh, don't drive off in that vehicle. I want that. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I was not because I needed to, it was because I wanted to. Shot him through the back window. Well, now I've got an abundance of vehicle choice. There's some dudes over there as well. vehicles I want out of these. I think I'll, I think I'll go, go, go for the Jeep. I don't want the Humvee. They're a little bit slow. I mean, they're nice and robust, but I'll have something that's a little bit faster to get me from A to B. We'll do the job. That's 
stop to pick up that purple as well. Aviator hat. I don't think it's an improvement though. Oh, maybe it is actually. Yeah. Go for a purple 225. Um, that. And that's a downgrade, so we won't take that. Uh, no, that'll do. Right. On to the objective. 2.9 kilometers to go. A uh, reasonable speed of vehicle to get us there. That's what happens when you're reading chat. Should have kept my eyes on the road. <laughs> oh boy. I've made a lot of friends here. Dodge and weave. My tyres are all good though. Back end's hanging off a little bit. Time for a bit, bit of off-roading. <laughs> Oh, 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 in between those rocks. Okay, I hit that tree a bit. <laughs> Come on, the reaction's there to thread my way through that. And then into the water. Come on. Come on. Oh, just about avoided it. Just about. No, no, I haven't. Failure. Failure. Uh, there's a load of stuff here as well. I'm going to have to turn and shoot. So I'm definitely aware of my presence after driving right through the middle of them like that. You. Swarm of drones there. Oh, there you are. Where are you? Oh, we can that. Quick, now that. Good. Okay, they look like hostages. We'll try not to shoot them. What a dude bearing down on me right now. Shotgun. Ooh. Needed to be quick to nail him. There's a dude down here. Not be bothered to look for him. Oh, <laughs> he's right in my face. There's another. Oh, there you are. I think we're okay for now. Go free the hostages. Hello. Um, why can't I talk to you? Oh, I can release them. Reinforcements incoming because that guy with the radio is still uh, causing trouble. Gonna be a chopper soon, isn't there? I think I can hear one in the distance. Yeah, I can. I only can. Um, you know what? It'd be really bad if that killed the hostages. Maybe I'm supposed to keep them alive. really uh, <laughs> too late for me. There we go. Nailed it in the end. Don't land on the hostages, please. Jesus. My God. It's taken me far too many shots to take down those choppers. And 
again, I can just activate my special ability and probably one-shot them, but I keep not doing it. Right, uh, now what have I got to do? Talk to the scientists. Well, you've been freed. Why can't I talk to you? Is it because this body's in your way? Will you feel better if I move the dead guy? Is that, is that what's bothering you? Let's move the dead guy. Blosh. There you go, fish food now. You gonna let me talk to you? Oh, she stood up. Come on. Is this bugged? Is that another chopper? It is. There we go, that was better. More like it. Right, why won't you lot talk to me? Is it because I'm still in combat? I think that might be it. Let's see if I can uh, hunt down this guy. There's someone over here I can see the red mark on the map. Maybe that's what's blocking it. I've got to clear all the threats first. Right, hopefully now. Chill out. Hold on. I want that. Right, hit the tires then. Oh no! It's getting away! Damn. Didn't quite get the shot lead right at any point there. Never mind. Okay. Oh, I'm still in combat though. Uh, pro probably not helped by me shooting at that just now. Let's see about lying down and rolling in the dirt. Let's see if that can get rid of it. Okay, I've vanished. Roll in the dirt. And we get out of combat. No. Not yet. Well, it's got to run out eventually. Maybe if I just uh, drive the boat away. They've stood up again. That looks like progress. Oh, now I can talk to them. Oh, finally. I don't know what was going on with there, but I think it was some thing being in combat. Us. I don't know what we would have done without you. Uh, I'm Kate. This is Sawyer. Call me Nomad. You switched the sprays at the lab, didn't you? We're the original developers of the stealth spray. But we needed a real lab setting to test it properly. Proper tools and such. And obviously it was worth the risk. The spray works. The stuff makes things invisible? To drones. Well, not exactly invisible, but close. Well, that's extremely useful. But what are you after? There's an island nearby housing scientific research called Project Deus. We wanted to make our way to it... safely. Covertly. Quietly. We were hoping to lend our expertise. We never thought anyone would go through the trouble of trying to trace our experiments with the paint back to us. And that was a lot of trouble to go through. And we, uh, would really appreciate it if... If I keep your shenanigans a secret? You want to share that tech? Why would you want... It's a deal. Pleasure doing business with you. Nice. Yeah, no, Garrison, I, I don't play Dark Souls. One of my sisters does. She's played all of them. Oh, God, they look a little bit crispy. Uh, so, that's that done. Mission complete. Uh, you're, you're, uh, you're with Hello. See what he has no to say. To I'm looking for this place. And give us a you location. Point me in the right direction. This is where you'll find it. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'm taking this boat. I'm going, to, I'm going to beach this boat. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I've ruined your boat. <laughs> A lot of choppers around here, aren't there? Now I'm back to missing a lot again. Well, I'm hitting the chopper. I'm just not hitting the pilot. That's what I'm trying to get. There we go. That boat blew up anyhow. That may have just landed on the scientists I just freed. I'm not going to look to find out. What we don't know can't hurt us. Right. 
Uh, that is where I'm going to leave it because it's very late. I've done almost four hours extra on top of my usual stream today. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing <laughs> whatever you got to see there of the game. <laughs> we did, uh, did some more dailies, grabbed some attachments, cleared some places, did some failing, and then ended with a, uh, uh, a side quest. Uh, got my scare, gore scare up a little bit more, up to 226 now. So as you can see, I mean, that was four hours of play. And I've gone from, I think I was about 222 when I started. So we've only crept up by four points. So you can see it really does slow down at this point in the game. It's going to take a while to advance. And this is where uh, having the ability to use those blueprints to build whatever weapons you want. You know, you're going to be using weapons you like for, you know, fairly extended periods of time. Uh, on occasions because it can take a while before you encounter an upgrade um, so I do recommend going for those blueprints um, I, I definitely have a few favorites out of the assault rifles and the sniper rifles and the pistols so far uh, we were just using the AK-12 uh, like the last game I find the AK-12 to be uh, fairly uh, steady you know it's it's relatively easy to just go full auto with uh, uh, mid range and and you know hold your aim on the target it's a reasonable rate of fire for what you're doing with it there you go 850 i mean that's that's rapid um and look at the range that's that's one of the other things with it it's got good range uh accuracy it says on the stats isn't that high so this is where i, I say i was saying earlier you know in in the previous ghost recon game sometimes these stats can be a little bit misleading so you look at that and think, wow, this must be terrible to aim. Uh, I'm never going to hit anything with that. But really, once you put the attachments on, that's very that's very uh, misleading. It's it's a lot steadier than you'd think, judging from where that bar comes. Uh, but yeah, the damage uh, is pretty low. It's definitely at the low end of the assault rifles. It's uh, uh, not a hard hitter. But with that rate of fire and the steadiness that you get at range when firing it, it does allow you to... Uh, Get plenty of bullets on target. Again, we'll just uh, show you. I mean, look at that. It's not that bad. It does, you know, it shakes around a bit at the end. But if you do short bursts like that, um, well, let, let's say medium bursts even. Let's pick a new bit of rock. I mean, it's pretty damned accurate with that. So you'll see there's a bit of uh, drift upwards. Oh, here we go. We're annoying people with our weapons testing. Um, but yeah, I mean, look. This is why a lot of the time I'll, I'll aim just below the target I'm going for. And then the drift will take it up into the head. It's really uh, very reliable considering what the accuracy looks like on this weapon guys off at leisure with it so so the thing i'm pointing out here the thing to remember is remember though those stats just like they were in wildlands can be a little bit misleading they don't tell the full picture um oh, sorry don't tell the full story or give the full picture um so you do want to get hold of guns try them out for yourself make your own mind up on what you think is good i mean look like there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this is there does the job um, and it's worth just, you know, grabbing all those blueprints, building them one by one, trying them out, and eventually settling on what you think is good. Um, at least until you see some videos out on YouTube where people can demonstrate that for you. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, uh, Dark Dally is one I've watched uh, in the past. He's done tons of videos uh, on Wildlands, testing out all the different weapons. I assume he will end up doing the same thing again on this game. And if not, I'm sure there'll be some other streamers out there that will do it. Or sorry, uh, not streamers, other YouTube creators out there that will do it. Uh, so you'll be able to get an idea. But, you know, the most fun way to do it is to try them all yourself. You know, just go around, collect all those weapons. Play pokey guns. Collect them all. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all so much for hanging around and watching. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. I will be back tomorrow. And I will be playing a full session in my usual time slot. That begins at 3pm UK time or 10am Eastern. Uh, and I'll be playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint once again. But this time I'll be playing it co-op with Garrison. So that's going to be loads of fun. Uh, and, and very, most likely very chaotic. <laughs> 
<laughs> there's not much stealthing goes on when we're playing. So, uh, yeah, I hope you'll catch me then. And uh, if not, hopefully I'll see you next week for some more Battletech. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, same time slot, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. UK time, uh, playing Commander's Edition mod. But uh, for now, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.